YouTube. Get rid of the damn emojis. Come on. Damn time. What's up, TJ? Hey, TJ. Well, it looks like David just got his Avada too. Did he? Yep. Looks like it just came out. Well, I I can't tell because it's it's so new, but I think that it's it's doing okay because it's it's a little bit different and everybody's having to learn learn a little bit different stuff, you know. Some of their releases, they don't have no real issues, and then other ones, they tend to have to do a bunch of, the first couple of months are kind of dicey. What's up, cool cat? How's it going, man? Oh, you, hey. Dominic? He said cool cat. Hey. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be interrupted in a few minutes, so I don't know when. My daughter's stopping over to give me some money. I, she borrowed yesterday. I told her she didn't. I was going to come break her foot. <laughs> She said, you're going to break what? I said, I'll break your foot and your daughter's foot. <laughs> to which she said. She laughed. Right she called you. me today and said, I'm going to be out around 3.30. A little after that, I'll be on my way there first. <laughs> her mother-in-law gave her a check yesterday. And she said, if I cash, it's going to be stuck for a couple of days. I gave it to her. She's bringing me cash today, I think. Or the check, one or the other. No. Hello, Mark. Hello. Yeah. Did you do any more flying today? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I think I, I went over by uh, Pot and Blue Park. Mm -hmm. Fine Blue State Park, and mm -hmm. uh, I flew actually four different flights. Are you are you love are you loving the uh, uh, the two now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Dominic. Right. AC is set to seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, uh, the one I, I went out to the little playground right there. And it's got a little bit different takeoff where if you if you use the joystick, you can bring it up and then use the throttle and take off. Or if you press the the the, the, the start button, it'll come up and hover, and then you hit the throttle. I had the throttle, I had to I, I was sitting by, by the um there was a bench right in front of me, and I was sitting there, had the throttle pull back, hit the start button. When it came up, it hovered, it took off. And when it took off, I almost smoked it. Wow. I mean, I, I got up to the bench and I went, I turned it sideways and just, just missed it. But I almost smoked that bench. Well, I noticed a couple of people got their Avadas today. Like Rodney Bell got his and yeah. he didn't, did you see his? 
I didn't see because I, I just got back a little bit ago. Well, what what he did was he went out and flew it, but he didn't know that it was if he, he didn't have it hooked, connected, Wi-Fi. Yeah, that he couldn't go any further than so far, and you know. It means he just didn't have it logged into his account. Right. Mm. Yeah. So he uh, and they don't tell you anything about beginner's mode. Because what Not he more. did, what he towards the end of his video, he explains it at first, but then he shows the video. He goes uh, through a cabana, like a what do you call it, wooden structure, you know, like a gazebo type gazebo, gazebo. and he gets just to the other side and it starts hesitating like this. It wouldn't go any further, and he had to land <laughs> like a, like a geo zone. <laughs> yep. Alex, Alex's was the same. He got stuck in beginner's mode at first as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people, uh, like Sean I, was flying it and he couldn't figure out how to get it to do the easy acro. It, it's, it shows you how to do it on the buttons there. I mean, that's the button. But he didn't. I guess he didn't understand that was showing in the button. <clears throat> and somebody else did the same thing. I don't remember who it was. Oh, um, the guy from Denmark couldn't get it to flip or nothing either. Henry. Tech drone. Tedron? Henrik, yeah. Yeah. I knew. Yeah, he Laura, was having problems with it too. Laura's in the chat. She must be at her mother's house. Well, David didn't come on this afternoon, so he mustn't have finished cleaning that window properly. Yeah. <laughs> he had a bit of an issue. So what you're saying, he's got a list of chores? Mm-hmm. Well, Court, uh -huh. Justin, what did what did you hear from him? Uh, he just, just said, yeah, he accidentally broke a light in the hallway, so he had to turn the power off to fix it. I don't know. He must have <laughs> hit it with something when he was moving furniture. Or I don't know what mm -hmm. he was doing. Maybe he was moving stuff around and accidentally yeah. hit it. I've done he that. He was dancing so much, he, he got out of control. I've done that with fucking mm -hmm. a ceiling fan. was moving yeah. a piece of furniture and fucking smacked the ceiling fan and broke it. <laughs> When I that's, say that's cleaning a... windows, it was what's it? Apparently, the glass window above one of the doors had been painted over, so he was trying to remove the paint from the glass. Oh, that's easy to do—a little Windex and a razor blade. Mm. That off, Jody. Yep. Yeah, he gone. <laughs> Hello, Jody. It just break the window, put a new one. It's easy. That's it. Yep. <laughs> TJ, he's not here. TJ's absent. TJ was in the chat. Yeah, he put his name in the first in. He was trying first to be in, I think. Yeah, he was trying to be first. He said a couple of things, then he, he went back to... Well, and he disappeared. Yeah, he, he said first... <laughs> I heard, I heard Justin. Did TJ buy a new drone? No, I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I think he's more interested in trying to figure out how to get another car. Uh, I, well, somebody said yesterday, uh, it was on Johnny's show yesterday morning, that they had a, uh, he was showing the, the Adam, the Potentic Adam, yeah. or something like this. That he had given that, they gave it out away. And somebody said, yeah, a bunch of people went and bought one because of the way it flies. They were flying it in a hotel. They said TJ bought one. Oh, really? I didn't hear nothing about that. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, that. Two hundred, two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's about the same price as the Mini Two SE. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would never buy. I'd buy the Mini Two if I was going to buy one. Yeah. You know? Well, that's what Marcus said. <clears throat> yeah, because he was having loads of problems with the Atom. I think in the end, Potensic changed it for him. Yeah, we should be getting a, a word on Marcus. He got his today too. Oh, did he? Yeah, he was waiting for it. Johnny said he, he had, and Johnny, I think, got a second one today. Oh, we got, got two, huh? Well, he didn't get it on purpose. Marcus, <laughs> Marcus's, Marcus's video today was about the Mini 2 SE. <laughs> yeah, but he was supposed to, it was coming in today and he had to stay around the house because he had to sign for it and they wouldn't let him tell him to have somebody else sign for it. So he was stuck at the house. And uh, and Johnny said his was out for delivery, 
the one from DJI that he canceled. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's yeah, going to have to anyway. send that one back. Yeah, he's going to send it back. Uh, well, well, when he when he got in touch with them to cancel it, they told him it had already been shipped. They got they got it. They got the money pending. They don't have it taken out yet. Oh, uh, looking That's at the them. Crazy part. Looking at them, they're only like fifty or seventy dollar drones. They're not that expensive. Well, the, one, the one I looked at the other day, it said two fifty. Must be looking at the wrong one. The Potensic Atom is a, I think it was two eighty nine at first. Yeah, unless they something crazy about it. Yeah, they said they were flying it indoors, and it has no prop guards. That would stop me from wanting to fly it indoors anyway. Oh, actually, there are two atoms. There's the original one and then the new one because the old, the first one, <clears throat> I don't think had a proper gimbal. It was electronic stabilization. And then the second one they brought out had the gimbal on it. So uh, at, uh, at Fountain Blue Park, they've got a big pond on the side. That's the one that I was going to go back to. They supposed to have a 10-foot ga 10 gator in it that they were going to get out over the summer. And I didn't go back. To take, I, didn't, I just didn't feel like it. It's too hot. And um, I went back there, and um, I went and flew around the pond, and there was a couple that came up with a little young, young kid. And I told him, I said, yeah, be careful around the pond. There's gators over there like that. And the, the kid's talking, and the kid was like, maybe two and a half, three, just enough to get up and run. Kids running and over there by the edge of the pond like that. The mom goes, the dad goes running over there, grabs the kid, and the mom comes over and has a fit because there's a gator in the pond right there. <laughs> it was a little one, but it was there. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't have wanted that on video. <laughs> you know? I'd be more worried about the little ones. They're faster. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't physically see it, but they blend in so well. I put my drone up and went around there looking. So I'm gonna look in a minute. And I flew to Avada all over it. Go check your messages. Uh she's telling me to <laughs> shut up. I already know. <laughs> no, she's sending me a picture of a beautiful sky and waves. Mm. I figured, figured she was saying, shut up. Up, Joe. <laughs> well, we got a bit more rain and then we got massive thunderstorm. Yeah, I was watching I was watching uh, Big Jet TV last night from Heathrow and they had 54 mile an hour wind. Hey, Corey Manor, how you doing? Yeah, today we've had it 26 mile an hour gust into 58, hey. uh, no, 48, I think it was. Yeah, and I'm watching, I'm watching uh, an A380 Airbus trying to land in that wind. <laughs> oh, was, sideways. And and I'm thinking something that size is struggling with the wind. Yeah, I'm not putting not putting a mini two up in that wind. <laughs> nope. <laughs> something that if something that large is, uh, W. There's TJ. Hi, Daryl. TJ, <laughs> W, Daryl, his other brother, Daryl. <laughs> well, now, what is that? That's the... Is that the Adam? Mm. That was the Potensic. The Potensic. The, the, the one that we're talking about. Yeah. 2999. Yeah, no, that, like that. that's yes. not the Atom. That's one of the yeah. other ones. Well, that's the A20. Does it, does it come, that does it come the, with a controller? How do you get a controller and a drone man. for twenty nine ninety nine? Yeah, I had one of those for a couple of days. I was flipping it around. The battery lasts for about three minutes. <laughs> you know, the dogs my were going first, after it, so I gave it back to Amazon. My first drones, I got two Potensic T18s, which were 1080p. Oh, and reasonable for what they were. Look at there. But, I mean, they they only cost me like forty pounds each, second hand. Mm. That, that almost looks like a mini, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd go with the mini. Yeah, for that price, you I, I just move up to a, a mini three pro.
but Potenzik are one of the better, cheaper drones. Yeah. They're kind of there with Feeney and um, Hobson. Mm -hmm. I was I was talking to Johnny. I said, you know what? I like I, I really like the two. Uh, I like the the acro um, part of it, but the problem is, it's actually it's it's it, it takes it's going to take a lot of muscle memory. Because of the way it's situated on the on the stick, because if you, you it it's hard to describe you, you, when you're flying, and you I actually today use my other hand to turn it into the right mode. It was easy that way. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, it. I think the button should have been over up up a little bit further or something. Well, I think when you want to change any of the settings in the goggles, if you use the motion controller to do it, you have to sort of pause the drone and stop it recording. So yeah, you can't record really either. Do anything. Yeah. They look like Murray and Dominic. <laughs> yeah. I'm staring down, staring down at my crotch with my glasses on. I'm not. I'm. I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> well, so I'll do that. <laughs> Dominic's admiring himself. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. <laughs> well, he's still in his smoking jacket. Yeah. What's up, Rigger? TJ, did you get that little green one, or are you talking about the bigger one that looked like the mini too? Tell him I hope he didn't buy that because he could have spent three hundred dollars on something else. Mm. I hope it's the green one he was talking about. <laughs> he said he got one. I don't know which one he got. That's what I'm saying because I showed two of them. He didn't specify which one it was. Yeah, I had that little green one. I flew it around for a long time. I had it for me and the kids played with it for quite a while. Was that the e sheen? No, the little Potenzik, the little green one. I twenty. Right. H one. I got a little e sheen um cine whoop Lord. type cine whoop type thing. There's where Laura's at right now. That was only like, I think it was twenty, less than twenty five dollars. That's a nice fun. view. Nice view there, Lore. Yeah, man, we we got a lot of stuff out there to go ahead and fly around. Okay, he got the little green one. That was the one TJ got. Okay, okay. that's better. Let's say I hope he didn't spend three hundred dollars on that. <laughs> Just somewhat for a bit of fun. Yeah, for twenty nine bucks you can have some fun. Yeah, I can deal. I can deal with that. You know, because I was thinking about getting something like that in here, just to fly it around. But it, the battery life wasn't enough. I mean, I just didn't like those little stupid batteries. I mean, if you want to get a little drone to play with, just get a Tello. Mm -hmm. You can do flips and all kinds of stupid shit mm -hmm. with that thing. They still yeah. have Tellos? Yeah, you, you can, can buy them on Amazon still. Yeah, they're a hundred bucks. And for <laughs> and they have a seven twenty camera. You ain't gonna find a drone. In how that long price is range. the flight? How long is the flight time? I don't want to say about ten or ten minutes or so. I don't think it's. I can't remember to be honest with you. But you well, can get because, the, of the, okay. because of the sound with the Vada too. I fly that one in here. It's not as loud. It's not that loud. I used to fly the Mini Three Pro in here, and it's less. It doesn't sound as loud as that. Hey, Jim. Yeah, so right here, Jim, what's up? They still have the Tello drones. Um, 
13 minutes flight time. And this one you get... You get with it. Does it say? You well, God, no. Oh, you get a battery. Yeah, oh, you don't even get a combo. They used to only be a hundred bucks for the non combo. Yeah, but you can still buy them there. Uh, damn, that one's three hundred. But you get the controller, three batteries, charger, pretty much everything. Another yeah. set of props. Yeah, those are like I said for that size drone. Though you're really not going to find one that's comparable right. to that on that size, as far as uh, just a regular little drone to fly around. Problem is, is they're probably getting rarer, so now and they're getting more expensive. I'm gonna hold on to my tele. That's the e sheen I got. Yeah, it's similar to the A20, just different design. Yeah, yeah. same thing though. <laughs> the remote that. Yep, okay. it looks like the remote to my little uh, helicopter I have. Mm. A little remote like that. Yeah, I almost smoked that on takeoff, man. That wasn't that was too close. It's like Grandy pulled the trigger and got Nevada too. There you go. <laughs> Should have got a computer. I know. Bro. Should have got a PC. Uh, let me mute y'all. Oh, dude, you could have bought a really nice PC for what you paid for that drone. <laughs> Here comes Jim's droning with his negativity. Bought a two sucks, Randy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did. As he just purchased two of them, I bet. Yeah. There's Vegemite. Zombie. Yeah. She loves you. <laughs> does she does she follow you around quite a bit, Dom? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but there's no regulations on your PC, and it's not going to get shut down in six months. What's the <laughs> difference? It might be outdated in six months. <laughs> he's going to be real mad when he's got a... No, no, no. See, when the government decides to ban the drones, me and Tim and everybody be playing games, and he's going to be all upset because his drones are all granted. And he's not going <laughs> to have no computer to play with us. <laughs> Lance popped in and Pad popped back out again. What's up, Daryl? Yeah. Daryl said you can fly a PC at least once. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the truth. <laughs> you can fly Where? simulators on the PC. Yeah, it don't matter if you crash then. Yeah, and I can fly, and I can fly over people. You know, I can go into GTA and fly my drone and blow up people. You go into <laughs> GTA and fly your car over people. <laughs> There's actually a drone in the game and you can blow people up. It's got a remote detonator on it. <laughs> What's up, Rigger? How's it going, man? I'm not. Hey, Lance. Hey, guys. Hi, Lance. Good afternoon. Where are you headed? I am... I've got to take a class in about uh, 45 minutes. So I'm, and it's an online, it's on, it's virtual. So I'm heading home oh, okay. so I can, so I can log in on time. Okay. But yeah, okay. so I, I figured I'd listen to you guys on the way home. Well, Dominic's like been very chatty tonight. No, definitely. Like, like normal, right? Yeah. 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 
What is it like a continuous education class or something? Being a teacher yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. yeah. You you got to take this is uh we've got to take STEM classes and oh Tim so how you doing? Oh uh, yeah, the technology. Yeah. Yep. We haven't seen you in a while, Tim. How you been? Doing good. Hey, just just happened to uh, be flipping through it, and I seen that you guys were live, and I thought, well, I'll jump on for a minute. There you go. Say hi. Oh, that'd be perfect, Randy. That'd be about the time DJI gets banned. Right. <laughs> are you are you flying any drones, Tim, or no? Not right now. Okay. Every, the, you know, the buzz is all about the Avada too. Yeah, I seen it came out. Joe's got one and he loves it. I haven't I've only got one uh that, that I and it, I think it was a tiny hawk or something. And I and I just kept crashing. I couldn't even fly it, so I I haven't done anything with it. And, and since uh, the move, I don't even know where it is. That's because that's an FPV drone. You got to stay on the sticks on that though. Yeah. 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 And... Some... Did you have goggles with it and everything? Yeah, it came with goggles. Uh, it came with okay. uh, everything you needed. It was a kit. It was only a couple hundred bucks, but mm, ready um, to fly, but yeah. Yeah, got- yeah, and I, I just couldn't, I couldn't d- do much with it, and I kept wrecking it. It was either hitting the ceiling or hitting the floor, and and then the cat didn't like it, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, I, it's got a golden on it. <laughs> yeah, it got packed up, and and then after the move, I don't even know where it is. So. Daryl said, "Joe, you can go ahead and send him your Avada too, so you don't know how to fly it." <laughs> so he's talking shit with his, his no, music. Joe's got his daughter there. Uh, looks like he's yelling at Daryl on the, on the screen. Screw you, Daryl. Easy. Easy. <laughs> we adopted a couple of dogs in January from the Humane Society, and she. Did- she gets crazy every time somebody walks or drives by. Shoot, it's okay. Oh, come here. What do you got, she Joe? Brought, she brought me the money. I don't get to break nothing. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, great. You'll have enough for shipping for that 3D printer to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but Tim, you still working the night shift? Yeah. Here's, this is Daisy. Oh, pretty dog. Yeah, and there's Duke. Duke and Daisy. Daisy and Duke. <laughs> Daisy Duke. Yeah. That's as Duke good as mine. Awesome. Valentino and Cleopatra. Yeah, they're they're good dogs. <laughs> they just don't like it when somebody goes by the house. Or if there's a cat out there, she'll bark at the cat. Well, that's, that's, that's normal on a lot of dogs. Mia... <laughs> Sits in the window uh, on the end of the couch and looks out there. If somebody's walking by, you get a roof, roof. If somebody's yep. walking by with a dog, it's a bark, 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 bark. <laughs> and they, they bark. She barks at everything that goes by. And if he sees, he'll be, he'll watch the front door. And if the porch light comes on, it's motion activated. So anybody that goes down the road, the light comes on. He'll see the light go on. He'll bark. He'll see the light go off. He'll bark. Not <laughs> <laughs> joke. Yeah, mine's, mine's <laughs> like that. She she barks even if she imagines there's, there's somebody going past. Us. Though most yeah. of the time it's because she wants some more food. Yeah, we we have uh we have a lot of cats out here. I across the street there's um I want to say six or so, and next door she came when she moved in she had she had a bunch of them and um. So and there's they're all, probably they're all, they're all open range cats. They just run. Yeah, they're all they're all outside cats. So there's probably close to twenty cats that are around this and you know neighborhood here. And they just they and the one there's a little black one that came by. We don't know whose it is. I heard it was from the subdivision next to ours, but um this black cat, pretty cat, it walks across the uh the block out front of the house, and when the dog barks, it'll stop. And it'll move, and it'll just sit there looking at her in the window, and just just teases her. 
<laughs> yeah. And she just goes nuts, you know, and, and if she gets to him, you know, when she gets out, she goes over to either ne- next door or the, across the street where the cats hang out. And if she gets face to face with them, she just barks and wags her tail. She's excited, but gee, <laughs> mm. I just bought GPS collars for them because they, you know, if they squirt out, they they disappear. Yeah, we're well, going up in the UP next month, and I I thought if they disappear in the UP, we'll never find them. Paul, did you hey, ask Dominic. if the Paul, did you ask if the cats were free range? Yeah, free range. Cause, uh, cause <laughs> cat because cat eggs are delicious. All right, you ready? You ready? <laughs> Chinese yeah. for all. Yeah. Well, like you had you. you gotta yeah. love some cat egges. I can't sell, so it's a circle. My cat. Show, my cat. Show, show. My dog. Lord yeah, Jen. all right. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I saw her picture she sent me of her out by the ocean. <laughs> yeah, cool she's, she's on video call. Yeah. Laura, Laura <laughs> has left David for the week and David is tearing the house apart. Literally. <laughs> so what uh what happened with the light anyway, right. Jack? Just a minute, I'll let, I'll let you know in a minute, Justin. Yeah, Tim, I put air tags on my cat and my dog's collars. Okay. 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 It went something like this. Laura left and said, David, don't paint the ceiling. You can't go on ladders. If you have a seizure, you'll fall off. And I said, I'll be fine. I'll find something to hang on to if I fall. (laughs) And it happens to be the light. (laughs) I went went up onto the ladders and I'm painting away. And I sort of went dizzy as I was painting over the top of my head. I went backwards. And the nearest thing was the light, and I sort of grabbed it, and it came down with me. <laughs> Oops. What were you painting with? The ceiling. No, Paint what much. were you? Why uh, aren't you oh. using a roller from the? Yeah, use a roller and put your broom handle on there. That you can. Because it it's a small room, and I was painting with anti-mold paint. Anti-what? Which you anti-mold Anti-mold paint. Oh, mold. I thought you said anti-mold. Yeah, mold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah that's <laughs> he was keeping the moles off the ceiling. You've got to do that, you know. Yeah. Especially around here. <clears throat> oh, just We're just doing a precaution just in case. So I painted the I ceiling with was, the anti-mold mold stuff. and I thought that was a brand name, anti-mold. <laughs> so, and now I've got to paint the rest of it tomorrow. So We call it, we call that paint, it's called Kills. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, uh, seriously, that's what they call it. They call it kills. And yeah. so you go into a Home Depot and ask for a can of kills, and they know that you're trying to kill them, you know, the mold on the in your house. Yeah. That's the Crazy first enough, way. Hills is what it nearly did to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you exactly. have a problem with mold, or are you just trying to do prevention? No, just being just the last time I did. But we're being proactive, making sure there's not going to be none of it. Did you say no, prophylactic? Did you, did you get the light fixture yeah, fixed? prophylactic. Yeah, the electrician went said. about 10 minutes ago. Oh, the electricians came. Okay. And then yeah. there's that's, the, that's the good thing about being in a council property. If you damage it, you ring them up and they send someone out to fix it. David's like, yeah. I didn't know what happened. I was just walking. It hit me in the head. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told him what happened. He was pissing his eyes laughing. Well, <laughs> what I was wondering was when you, you, hit get... the ground, when you hit the ground, were you looking for uh, Laura to blame for tripping you or something? Or yeah. No, actually, Laura actually came to my aid because as I hit the ground, she hadn't put the... No, you know the um, bed I've been sleeping on, the yeah. Z bed? She hadn't put it away, and it was up against the wall, so I landed on that. <laughs> oh. So, she saved me from where she is. Uh, Laura prevented you should have accidentally, as you fell, broke the window you were supposed to be getting the paint off, so they put a new window in as well. I've done that window. Well, Matt, Matt came in because he thought Laura was here. And now yeah. the worst yeah. bit is, 
I don't like the window now, so I'm going to have to repaint it. <laughs> well, Laura, Laura, before she left, she just tacked all the pillows and mattresses to the wall just in case, right? Yeah. Her padded yeah. the whole house. I did the house, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's bubble wrap everywhere. He's been in a padded room before. <laughs> of course I have. I live with Laura. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Matt? Yeah, going all right. Yeah, on your way to work. All right. Yeah. Another day, another, another day, dollar. Another dollar. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Another. What am I got? Another. Another five years. Five years. I can retire. You starting early today, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Another two weeks, and I'm starting early, um, oh. and then I go back to my my normal shift. You like you uh, like uh, the later shift, don't you? Yeah, yeah, man. That's why he ended his live stream. So when he retires, he can do two a day, like Murray. Yeah, he's preparing himself. <laughs> I won't two a day. Up. It'll just be one live stream. <laughs> just be one go day. All day. <laughs> oh, did you guys see Joe? Uh, Wayman Joe passed out on his yeah. live stream. He did an entire live stream, passed out. Hey, he passed <laughs> out. He literally started the live stream, passed out, sat there for a half hour sleeping, and then yeah, woke, up, woke up, picked his nose for a few minutes, and then turned and then ended it. <laughs> <laughs> he was completely out of it for like thirty minutes. <laughs> wow! Oh, so shit. not not drunk, just passed out. <laughs> Yeah, I think he was drunk, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. Mm. At least he didn't do a smeg head. <laughs> his thumbnail was him picking his nose, though. So, Matt, <laughs> hey, Matt, did you order a new uh, Avada, Avada 2? No. <laughs> no. I, you know what? I haven't even looked at. I haven't even looked at the specs or anything on it. I've been. I haven't even looked at another drone. I've just been, just too busy doing my other shit. Yeah, you're on me. Um, so I don't know what they've done to the camera on it. I don't know. Joe, Joe be be well, I mean, Joe's got one. He's been flying it. Matt, the, cam uh, the camera's a bare action for. Matt, someone here for you. Hi, Tiny Channel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah, when she's away, away all right. <laughs> yeah, just when you thought it was safe to come out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought, yeah, beauty, because it really does affect me for most of the day. After, Back in a after Laura calls me that, I'm, okay, dude. I can't, I can't register. Come <laughs> on. Shh. You can't, you can't escape Laura. She's uh she's with her yeah. mother, and she's staying about two or three hours away from home. Oh, okay. Yep. Right. Up on the shore, I think. Hush. <laughs> she's in a small place called Skegness. Oh. Oh. Skeggy. oh. Skeggy. Or as right as the what? British call it, Skeggy. Yeah, skanky. It's a, <laughs> he's in North Lincolnshire. That's the one. North yeah. Lincolnshire, okay. between oh, no. yeah, just just on the York. edge of Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. South on Yorkshire. The, yeah, it's just just around on the, the corner. From, it's it's just around the corner from Puddin. It's okay. Yorkshire Puddin. I didn't watch it. Daryl, I just skimmed through it because it showed him passed out on the thumbnail. <laughs> um, so Joe, you there? Yes. Joe. Yes. What's okay? So what's what's going on with with the camera, mate? I'm interested to know. What, what, it's the uh, it's the same camera as the what, what, Mini Four Pro. What's different about and it? the Action Four? Ooh. Okay. And it, so, it, can it, it flies film in the, log? Good. Yes, it does. It does D log, log M. Yeah. D log M. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. Well, that that's uh, that's good. That's excellent. Mm. Every that's time really he good. flies it, man, he loves it more. Yeah. Right. Okay. <clears throat> what What are they worth, US? Uh, fly more kit was eleven ninety nine with three batteries. And All right, you, so they're gonna sell the drone really by itself. They're gonna sell, they're gonna sell the drone by itself for like four eighty nine. Hi Tim. Hi. It's got oh, it's got uh, AccuSync four on. Does everybody see uh, Matt at work? Okay. Oh, that's Matt at work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Eighteen thirty nine. Eighteen hundred and thirty nine. Eighteen thirty nine. Yeah. For, for a fly <laughs> more. Yeah. Okay, that's that's all right. That's not too bad. That's the three, that's the three battery combo. See how he's ignoring you, Dre. Afternoon, Dre. It's wider, it's lower, and it's more agile. Right, okay. Has it got different motors? What's Matt, you're around? getting abuse in the chat. I think <laughs> it will tell you. The battery actually sits lower and goes in the back, doesn't it? And the... Yeah. USB like and uh, card slots are on the side. Yeah. And what's, what's the flight time on it? They yeah. say 23 minutes. Let's say, yeah. It's 20 fine. to 25 minutes. How long? Um, yeah, they say 23. Sorry? I'm getting about 19 to 20. Okay, that, that's a long time to be flying FPV. Yeah. Yeah, mm. it is. <laughs> Times 23. Matt, you're getting tag teamed in the uh, chat. Oh, Ooh. am I? What's going on? Yeah. Well, Jim's droning and Laura uh, tag team in it with and having pots at you. Well, they got a tag team because they, they even the two channels together isn't as huge as me. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, Laura put a quote in there about it. it says uh, Matt doesn't need a drone he can't fly the ones he has yeah but oh rides rides what's, go what's going on here with the with the, with the ceiling of a bloody but that but, 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 uh, uh, what that what's going on there? with what's going on with this 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 uh this car with with the looking at the fucking roof of it well that's that's lance he's driving can't oh, see yeah. anything no he's got he's got his phone on the dash right phone holder uh, mm -hmm. so dre what are you doing dre's here <laughs> Having a bit of late lunch, that's all. Hello, Dre. Lunch, okay. <laughs> hey, Dre. If I find the leave button while I'm driving, I would. Dre, what do you think <laughs> about them closing down the Golden Gate Bridge because of the uh, the uh, Palestinian pro protesters? Oh. <laughs> well, you make your own bed, you got to lay in it. Yep. That's all there's to it. They keep putting up with this mad mad madness no matter where you go. Letting folks protest, stopping traffic. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think in order for all those people to, that usually use the Golden Gate Bridge, they said it's a 25-mile detour to go around. Mm. Just remember, awesome. you're the land of the free. And if it's the land of the free, you have a right to protest. If you have a right to protest, some fucker's going to get in your way. But also, you have a right to mold people down, I think. You can use guns and everything, so uh, go for that's, it. That's that's Florida. You can mow down protesters if they get in your way. <laughs> Would somebody pick up the bridge and move it? I, I tell you what, they're fucking. They're, they're they're having a gut full of those. Just stop oil or whatever it is, where they're sitting in the middle of traffic and shit. Yeah, People are really idiots. come to come to yeah, the, we, we the end of their fucking tether with it. Mm. We had one that blocked off a major street yesterday. Really? Yeah, they, they, they sit out there yeah. with their Starbucks and, and their iPhones bottle. and tweet about it. Yeah. In the plastic yeah. cups. Yeah, we yeah. had one the other day in London and the the uh the woman went to um jump on the front of the truck 
to stop the truck and the truck just carried on going when we were on the front. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like he said, he, he she jumped onto a blind spot. He knew she was there because he saw her coming at it. He said, but she disappeared because she was in a blind spot <laughs> on his truck. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Yep. <laughs> She won't be so keen on going. the man again. <laughs> All he was hearing was good for you. <laughs> uh, he's going to smack him in there, those pricks. I'll tell you what, what a nightmare. You know what? I'm all for the pro environment and wildlife and stuff, but I can't go around protesting. You know, I can't go around with a sign saying, save the trees made out of a fucking tree. Mm. Yeah, and you know, you know the fun, the the funny thing is though they that they they go on about this, stop this, stop that, save the trees, and all this sort of shit. Okay, fair enough. And the government's going, oh, we've got to do something about the environment. And yet, here in Australia, especially, we're still clearing bushland like it's going out of style, <laughs> sucking it all down. Now, what? You know, what, 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 come on. You pay taxes. You've got to pay more taxes now. And that's that saves the environment, but we'll still cut the trees down. I just yeah. say that we've put sovereign citizens on the bridge, and they'll be like, "I have a right to travel," and they can argue with the protesters. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> that's like over here, <laughs> Matt. Just wait till like... you get the uh, loot, you les over there, right? It's Where me. you can't travel through London in a gas guzzling car because it will murder people, you know, with the fumes. However, if you pay them twelve pound fifty, they'll let you drive around for the day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much is a human's life worth? Twelve pound fifty. Twelve pound <laughs> fifty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That at just, least, that just at least we all have a value. <laughs> you know what, man? That's the same as some of the national just parks bring, when bring it comes to drones, right? Saying. You can't fly a drone in the national park, so you ring up the national parks and all that. Oh, yeah, no worries. You pay a fee, all of a sudden, you're not a threat, and you can fly. Mm. You know? Yeah. And that's – that That just goes to show that all these rules and regulations and shit like that are just fucking blowing wind up their ass just so it, someone can make money out of it. It's that's a, it. It's a cash grab. Mm -hmm. It is. He's just an even tax. Hmm? Hey. I'll tell you what, wait what till the bold head tax comes in. Some of you okay. guys are screwed. The what tax? The bold head tax. Bold head? Yeah. Bold because, head. Because you've got, bold. Yeah. Because you've got a bold head, you're going to have to use more heat in to keep your head warm. So you have to pay more tax. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your social, social credit score is going to be right down. <laughs> Plus, we're adding to the unemployment mm. figures by making it so that barbers can't work. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Disgraceful behaviour. <laughs> the downfall of civilization was due to the bold people. Yeah. <laughs> Started off by Dominic on a panel somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, he's their leader. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Paul's not decided whether he wants to be in it or not. Yeah, <laughs> in the bold cold. <laughs> That's what I, I think I said years ago. I met Pat Peter Carroll. He went in for a twenty dollar haircut, but only had ten bucks. <laughs> 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 Is still here? Oh, you want to see what they're saying yeah. in the chat now? Hey, still here. So, Laura, we'll go back a bit. Laura says, Jim, to Jim, he thinks there's a bush that way. Jim Droning laughed. And then Riga put, ask them to define, define woman. Let's not go there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then um, move down a bit. Rights aren't rights if you have to buy them. No, oh, yeah. Nope. Point. Well, it depends. If you buy a left side or a right side, you can have the middle. Laura, Laura also wrote in the chat, I'm surprised Mr. Kiss-Ass Justin <laughs> isn't reading the chat too mad. <laughs> Is Jim replied, yeah, another wimp. <laughs> 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 You know, for two people, uh, for two, you know, Matt, for two people that are only like five two, they're real mouthy. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just tell the white supremacist groups that the Palestinians are blocking the mm. way? Uh, let's uh, not. Let's not do that. Yeah, let's not go that one. Yeah. Let's not go down that route. Mm. But it was funny in the Blues Brothers. Yeah, I know. It it was, but we're now in a different era. Yeah, and we're in a different era. Just a... Everybody gets offended by everything. Yeah, and like I said earlier, you're in the home of the free. You have a right to protest. It's like over here. At the moment, you have a right to protest. You must bring your own police and stewards and placards and clean up mm. after yourself. Yeah, because that's what protesters do. Yeah, and you've got to you've got to give them a, you've got to give them That's advance it. notice. And you've stuff. Got but however, you're entitled to have a protest, but only for a short while because they're going to bring it in where you can't have a say, you can't have a protest, and anything more than three people stood on the side of the road is a protest. Mm. It's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Part that always tickles me is that these people are protesting in areas. That have no say so, no control of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that's hey, what does that mean that one person chained to a railing is not a protester? No, yeah. that's 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 a stag do. That's just a, that's just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we do that a stag for up down over mm -hmm. here for stag do's, chain them to a lamppost yeah. and leave them for a bit. Yeah, go and sit in the pub across the road having a beer. Yeah, you're right though, Dre. There's a lot of people out there that are protesting, don't know what the hell's going on, and it's with everything. And and all, all you got to watch are the interviews with the people who are there, and and you just throw logic at them, and they can't argue with. They got exactly. no idea, I mean, absolutely no idea. They're mm. they're, out there protesting the U.S. government to stop Israel from wiping out the Palestinian people. I'm like, wait a minute. I say, don't you think you should? Cut the middleman out and talk to the people that you really want to protest protest against. <laughs> you know, I mean, Netanyahu yeah. wants to have this parking lot policy on the Gaza Strip because that's what they're going to turn it into is a large parking lot that they're knocking mm -hmm. everything down in stands. And uh, and he folks seem like the United States really has a real say so in telling him what's going to be his policy. Yep, I said don't oh, work that way. Absolutely. Or that they actually care. Mm. Well, I was watching... Say, um, it's all about that turnabout. When we were in Afghanistan and other places over the years, could nobody tell us what to do. So now it's their turn. Yeah. Mm. Well, earlier on, I was watching YouTube and I left it running and a video came on and David Cameron, the unelected um, official of the UK going around the world preaching bullshit he was supposed to have um, a meeting with somebody in america and he upset them with something he said and she did an in the news reporter did an interview with his um person that does the speech what do they call them receptionist or whatever pr and she went i don't care about david cameron he should look at his own country he can kiss my ass <laughs> <laughs> now that's how you do an interview. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Proper American, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a van gone over. Oh, that's not the way you park, mate. Pull over and say, you can't park there, mate. I don't want to. Oh, look. Damn. God damn it. Look, it's not 
you can't stereotype people, but there is a certain people that this happens to all the time. And he's stand he's standing next next to his van, and it's got it's got two wheels. If the steer wheels are on the ground, and and the two drives are up in the air because he's gone down a ditch uh, mm. off of a driveway because he's obviously done a delivery to to a house, and he's he's come around and he's steered around, and his whole front end's just fallen mm. down the the gutter <laughs> down into the floodway, mm. and it's fucking it's cars like that. Fuck it out. See, this is why we have our gutters underground. Have you what? Surface water drains from the channels underground. We don't have yeah. open. Well, not, well not, not in the countryside, they don't. They have in little the ditches at the side of the road. Mm. And this is, this is where I am, down, down in the big, and it's got a big, big, Slow little causeway that runs down the whole hill, and that and and the driveways are over the top of it, and they've got they've got pipes going through them so that the water flows under the driveways. And yeah, he's, he's doing... turned out the driveway too too sharp, and his whole front end's gone off the edge. Yeah. They're actually building houses like that here now. The uh, the the they got at one time it used to be you can't build a house next to the river. Because it'll flood. Now it's like, oh, we'll just build a bridge over the river. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know what? They do that out here too. And this is why the floods are so devastating because they're, they're act because of greed. It comes down to money. People have got to lose land and they sell it off to subdivide and all sorts of shit. And there's a place out here, Laidley, uh, Gatton Way, or whatever it is. Anyway, it means nothing to you. But anyway, it's all floodplains, right? And, and they've built, they've built all these houses. They built suburbs out there, and when it floods, uh, the whole lot gets washed away. I was like, "Well, it's been doing it for three million years. Why, why would it stop now?" <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, we. And have then all the, of a sudden, oh, your house insurance. We have the River Mersey flood playing in South Manchester, and that's just four golf courses. Yeah, right. There you go. By the way, Justin, you know what I told you about the um, coastline eroding? They've had four cliff dro drops in the same area in the last five days. Oh, yeah, where it was eroding real bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah but they just had another four in the same area on the Jurassic Coast. And um, it's taken four football fields. Oh wow! Of land just gone. <laughs> but the funny thing is, they not everyone knows it's gonna, it's all falling and stuff, and you get still get people standing underneath it, going, "Oh, just take a picture of the crack." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you guys go. Daisy wants to fight. She wants to wrestle, and she's not yeah. taking more for an answer. Good news. <laughs> I just okay. wanted to stop in and say hi anyway. Tim, it's good to see you, buddy. Yeah, good to yeah. see you guys, too. See you later. That's a later, Tim. Take care. I got to get ready for work soon anyway, so. And they're going with me tonight because my wife is working, so I got to get them ready as well. Do you, do you take the pupper dogs with you to work? Only when my wife is working. Oh. If she's working, we, she, Daisy doesn't like to be home alone, so she gets, she gets anxiety and... It's just easier to take them with me. Yeah. So. Well, you, they just they just veg out in the truck, right? Yeah, she usually lays on me, and you know, like she's got her head on my shoulder and her butt towards the steering wheel, and Duke is over on the passenger seat. It's nighttime, so they're sleeping anyway. Yeah. So. And for then, those, I, you know, for, for those of you who don't know, what Tim does is he's a night security. Uh, mobile security at a big truck farm type of thing. A big. Yeah, my boss said I can take him with me. So my cousin that works there, he um, he takes his every day. Yeah. So, but I'll let you guys go. It was good okay, seeing Tim. everybody again. Take care, yeah. my friend. Later. Later. Bye bye. See you, bye. Hey, Matt. That's a pretty yeah. elaborate green screen you got there, partner. I keep saying the same tree about every five minutes on your loop. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm pretending he's going. I'm to really work. in Rob. I'm really in robbing a bank, mate. This is the mm-hmm. thing. You know? He's just driving around the just block. Got that loop going. <laughs> no, yeah, he's just not- got that loop going. I thought, was, I thought you was pulling a mud ball on us. He always tells us he's going somewhere to do a job, and we never see him pass anybody or nobody passes him. And you know, you no, know, never see no scenery. <laughs> Like a Hollywood movie. No, <laughs> he's actually who just... Laura, Laura, hey, sure. Matt. Laura's yeah. last comment was, is when Matt talks, all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's right, because it's way too intelligent for her to understand. Yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the weather been like where you guys are? Because we've had 20 seasons in one day today. Thunder and lightning. We've had... Uh, we, start, we started off with sunshine when I got up. Then we had rain. really strong winds, like 30, 40, 50 mile an hour. We've hailstone, rain and snow. Then it brightened up again. Yeah. And then it went back round. Well, literally, we've had everything. We've had thunder, we've had hail, we've had snow, we've had rain, sunshine. And then we had all four at the same time. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and it was only four degrees here. <laughs> yeah, well, when I sat off for Tesco's, I checked the temperature and it said it was 21 degrees. By the time <laughs> I come out of Tesco's, it had dropped to 16 degrees by the time i got home it was down to 10 mm. hey justin mm. Holy yeah shit, man did you understand what he just said i thought he said he pulled out his te- testicles that's what i thought <laughs> he said no he went to tesco's <laughs> a supermarket that's a supermarket i would understand why it's cold because he pulled the testicles out <laughs> oh dear oh dear <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to make sure I was not hearing incorrectly. So I asked. Don't I worry, Dre. You know, we have Tesco's and Asda and Morrison's and Sainsbury's, and you have places like Walmart and Best Buy. Oh, so you have a store that sells testicles? <laughs> yeah, if you want it. I'm sure there's yeah, a butcher. butcher's that'll sell you some testicles somewhere. So, uh, yeah. so, so I say this is this is when uh, so when Laura takes the balls away when she leaves, well, you can go pick up a spare. I think it was yeah. the Americans that they invented Rocky Mountain oysters, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Careful now, you're going to get rid of that. But Mark, have you noticed what we call Best Buy is the corner shop value brand? You know, the forty-seven p stale bread. Yeah, it is yeah. Mm. <laughs> bread that you uh, open the pack and you guys. can put it through someone's window. Catch you later, Matt. See you later. Okay, have, a have, a good, have a good day, mate. All right. No worries. Don't forget to say goodbye to Laura. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, menial channel. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I set off for the doctors, it was nice and sunny, but freezing mm. cold. And when I came out of the doctors, it was starting to rain, so I had to come home via the cafe for a cup of tea and a bacon and egg sandwich. Mm. Well, I must be the only person that went to the supermarket, which is only five minutes away, and come back absolutely soaked with a suntan. Well, you're telling <laughs> the other part of the story about how you were accosted at the supermarket. Oh, yeah, stupid bastards. Mm. Because normally when I go in there, with Laura, we spend a couple of hours in there, you know, Laura, you know, do we want this? Don't we want this? Put it in the basket, take it out of the basket, you know, that sort of crap. Today, because it's just me, I knew what I wanted and I went in and I was in there for about three and a half minutes and got all my shopping and I was back out the door. Apart from when I got to the door, the security guy had decided I needed to be checked because I was too fast. Arsehole. Mm-hmm. Well, you should have pulled out your testicles then. Mm. That's that's the last thing I wanted to do. <laughs> then you charged him for them. <laughs> you tell him, you want to check me, check these. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing of it is, is that you way you did... these nuts. 
What he did, oh, what wow. he did, Dre, is he went down line item by line item, and the guy says, "Yeah, that," and he says, "Yep, that's that, that's yeah. that, that's that, that's that, that's that." Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then when I got to the last oh. thing, I said, "Oh, that bread doesn't look the right price." Oh yeah, it's reduced. That'll oh do. my god. <laughs> Dude, look, look what Mike just got an order for fifty for light switches. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Somebody just ordered fifty of them. <laughs> uh, what the hell are they need fifty of those for? What are they? I don't even know if I have fifty light switches in my house. <laughs> Probably not, but he might be doing a school or something. Go out yeah. to the breaker box. That's all the well, I think I think they're going to put those in all the Catholic schools. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> what kind of school? Catholic, he said. Religious. Uh, How weird! No, <laughs> has he got? Has he got a special emblem on it or something? What is that fish doing behind your head? Will you get that uh, sweatshirt, Lance? I'm sure it's attacking another and eating another fish. I don't think he can hear us. No, okay. Mike says some guy ordered 50 of them so he can randomly place them around Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just going to go to random places and put them on the light switches. He needs a super, uh, tell, him the super, tell him he needs a super glue when he puts them on. Not yeah. just stick them on there. Oh, they just light switch covers. Yeah, they just go on the switch itself. Yeah, they ha their switches are like a little stick that sticks out because they like playing with little sticks. Well, just like because our, anyway. Like our old switches used to be 40 years ago. Yeah, but now we've moved on to modern technology and we have the up-down yeah. switch. The rocker yeah. ones. What, what, no, no, no newer. You guys have the up-down switch? The rocker switch. Yeah, rocker oh, switch. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I agree. say, what the hell is an up-down yeah. switch? <laughs> All the newer, a lot of the, a lot of the newer houses have the flat switches there. Yeah, it's the, the one you find on an elevator, Dre. Yeah, you push the button, it goes up. Push the button, it goes down. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, yeah, rockers was is the proper term I would I would be uh, listening for. But yeah, just a lot of them go with the flat rocker panels that just the switch rocks back and forth up to the up position. I say the close and the open position uh, is the proper term for that. it. My light switch is a touch screen. And if you hold your finger on it, it dims. Oh. Yeah. A lot of them have gone to these right here. Like when you go into a lot of the newer neighborhoods now, they're all these. Yeah, I have those in my house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, only, you only really see the older, the regular lot. Well, normal. Was, I, I put them in myself because you know, I said my house is 30 years old now, so I replaced them all myself, and I got the ones that are lighted. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got the little night light built on doing. So yeah, like the, the rocker itself is lighted. Yeah. That's my. It's just a touch switch. Mm hmm. <laughs> Or unless you're in Paul's house, still got a freaking light switch from 1930. <laughs> what do you mean? Two, Paul's electrical system, he still has the knobs and tubes and shit from like 19. No, he goes outside and he he winds up the uh, wheel and uh, all the power comes on. Yeah. <laughs> now, now you know why he feeds the squirrels. It's not that he likes squirrels, it's just that they run around a little wheel to give him his power. <laughs> Yeah, He's got it sorted. All the switches are like <laughs> the Frankenstein movie. Lars, those handles that throw sparks. Oh, well, I think Buffalo's got one of the new houses there in Missouri. <laughs> they're, just show, they're just showing Miami protests going on. Carry on screaming. I thought that, I thought that didn't happen in Florida. Uh, they'll, they'll break it up quick. The sheriff's down here. I'll be messing around. Am I muted, guys? You no, was. Am I muted? No, not anymore. So someone might want to mute me. I'm, I'm, I'm double, I'm double dipping here. Okay. Are you on a uh, teachers' conference? Yeah, he's taking a continuation course for his teaching. 
So he said he earlier, he was he tell Lance that you are professionally developed as much as you are. That's it. I ain't going no more. <laughs> Wait, he's actually taking a course now. So we're oh, talking. He's, yeah, he's teaching it. Ah. Yeah. So you know he's teaching it. About those so-called yeah. after-school meetings with the administration. Yeah. We don't do professional we don't do we don't do detention anymore. We do suspension from the ceiling via the toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Ooh, ribs for dinner. Nice. You know, uh, jo your ribs. Just, just until my better half to check his messages. For oh, fuck's sake. And that was, check your messages, was David. That? I ain't got no messages. I'm David. trying to think who's our better half. David. <laughs> David, check your messages. Hey, hang on. There's something wrong there. She said better half. That's what I was confused about. Yeah. I am cool the better cat. half. Cool cat said, Lance, you can only show no, She the said, so She much. said half, not ass, David. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Tell the two thirds of this relationship, I ain't got no fucking messages from her. Or he has no fucking messages from her. <laughs> oh, I think I know what she wants. And Cool Cat said, Lance, oh. you can only sharpen a knife so much, man. Yeah. <laughs> And you transfer 20 quid into me account. You know that's what it's all about, Mark. Yeah. You need some money. And it's not that she don't have any. She don't want to spend her money. No, uh, she wants <laughs> me to share this duck with you. What, we having duck soup for dinner? No, uh, apparently that's sleeping outside her window tonight. No, nope, not that way. That one. And that's a view out of a caravan right now. So that's one of the seaside bungalows or whatever you want to call them? That's a trailer. No, it's a trailer. trailer. The caravan. Well, I, I was trying to be, you know, kind of holiday thotting to call it a bungalow. I know it's a I know it's a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> they call them static caravans here. Yeah, I, I, all... I was trying to give it one of those kind of fancy names, you know. Oh, you, oh, you want to give it a fancy caravan. name? It's a shit all. There are lots of caravan <laughs> parks, holiday homes here. Yeah, I, I've seen and, people take pictures of those, you know, yeah. in in England and France here where they have all these rows yeah. of little tiny structures. I don't know if they call it houses or bungalows or whatever and stuff. Chalets. At the, at the beaches. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the little beach huts. Yeah, little beach huts. They're like, uh, like little tiny. Yeah, they're all different. Yeah, they're all different colors. Well, yeah. Originally, colors yeah. originally they were changing huts so that the women and the men could change into the swimming costumes that were almost as much as the normal clothes. Mm. I see Daryl's in the chat. Are you back on the road, Daryl, or are you still flying the friendly skies? What time is it there now? Five. And Oh, here it's 6.09 p.m. Six o'clock, yeah. Daryl, hey, Paul, Daryl drove right through my town and didn't even bother to call. He didn't bother to call. <laughs> Takes mm. a picture of the of the railroad trestle that says San Bernardino, California. He's like, "Ooh, later." <laughs> Hamburger, steak, and tartar. What? What's tartar? Oh, now he's uh, now he don't pass by Joe's house, and now he's in the Mississippi. A steak you see that, Joe? A steak tartar. Wow. He said, "I'm in." He said, "I'm in Louisiana, heading to oh, Mississippi." Steak tartar. There's Johnny and me. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. mm. 
Uh, Daryl ain't got time for person Daryl is now. See, uh, Daryl ain't that's... got time for all them amateur pilots. <laughs> so Laura wants me to share this picture. Apparently, you can see a face in it. Yeah, I can. See a face well, above it. Did she it trip us? It ain't bright enough. How about that? It looked like Medusa. <laughs> Yeah, did yeah. she trip and fall in the sand or what? No, I don't, I don't know. This in front of me. Whose mm -hmm. pupper dog is that? I haven't got a clue. The one she don't stole get why she sent the it. The one she'll be bringing home. I'm about to say that the one she's bringing that home. Like that like one of the Queen's dogs. Mm. Corgi. Yeah, it looks like a corgi, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what the Queen used to like. All those corgis. She had loads of them. Yep. Now she and the uh, they've given it to Prince Andrew, so they're getting molested. <laughs> oh, for fuck! <laughs> yeah. Well, at least he'll have some official duties now. <laughs> now, now they oh, said, yeah, official dog yeah. walker. I think Charles Charles has different dogs, doesn't he? Does he have Yorkies? No. Yeah. He's Charles a York. has Yorkies too. Yeah, he likes his Yorkshire Terriers. Hmm. Well, you happy dog. Yep. We used to have one. Ankle biters. Yeah. They're a bit like oh, yeah. Laura, really, but they're from Yorkshire and Laura's from Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you really stack up the chips there, there David. When she gets back, yeah. she's going to have it. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. out of range at the moment. He's okay. She's gonna bring back me, she gets somewhere close, she's gonna she gonna go back and rewatch this stream. <laughs> oh, you watching it? Yeah, yeah, she's in the chat. You gonna have a pen and paper ready to go? So, oh, he said that. Oh, he, he said that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Wait till I get home. <laughs> David, I have you a gift. It's a plug. Come here. Is she still on video call with you? No. Oh. I'd have no ears left if if she was. <laughs> so how long is she going to be gone, David? Till next Monday. Oh, wow. A week. Yep. How are you, you going to survive? Well, it gives him plenty of time to completely destroy the flat now. Yeah, mm. I'm going to do a do Gloria Gaynor. I will survive. Yeah, uh, you better, you better, because I was. We don't want to hear you take no more nose dives on the live stream. Yeah, off the ladder, Donald. <laughs> hmm? yeah. I don't know. Mind you, it was like that night I had the um, I had the seizure when um, Sparky were on my shoulder. Yeah, and the only person that saw it was Tim. <laughs> no one else we batting all, an island. I went. It. We all saw it. <laughs> Tim just recognized what it was. <laughs> See, Laura, oh, you're, you're safe, David. Laura right. keeps missing stuff out because she's too busy sending things to other people. Nah. Well, like I said, if she had an actual, you know, decent phone like an Android, she could minimize YouTube and still send messages. <laughs> While she's listening, I'm not getting involved in that one. Be right back. <laughs> don't upset the iPhone user. I don't have. I don't have to close out YouTube to send a message. <laughs> no, but you have. If you're speaking to the phone to type the message, you can't hear what's being said. Mm. I don't use the voice thing anyway. I don't ever use it. With the sim messages, oh, yeah, when your eyesight's as bad as mine, it's a damn sight easier than typing. Well, I mean, you're for what you're doing, well, it makes sense. Why Laura does it, I have yeah. no idea. But unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> it does tend to throw words in that I haven't said, as you noticed. <laughs> hey, what? So you go fly today, Joe? Oh yes, sir. I went over by Fountain Blue State Park. They've got uh, old sugar mill ruins, 
and there's a lot of oak trees and a lot of little ponds and stuff. So I went all through the oak trees, through through a bunch of Spanish moss accidentally. Uh, <laughs> thank God it just went right through it. Uh, yeah. Around the ruins, then I went and flew over by a little playground. Yeah. And when you the new motion control, the way it's set up, it's got a little the trigger has a hesitation that it's it's built like that, so that you can you can move it around to move your pointer, but you won't do anything with the drone. So I usually start the engines, start the motors, then I'll mm -hmm. press the joystick up and let it start up and then give it gas. The other way is to press the start the engines, then double tap it and hold it, or just hold it, and then it'll take off up, right? Now, when okay. I went up, when I went up, I was pulling back all the way on the throttle. And there was a bench about six feet in front of me. And I tell you what, I I don't know how I, I look like Maverick going through between between two mountains. <laughs> I just turned it like this and went right between the two, right off the off the edge of it. Wow. I almost smoked it right off the bat. Mm. Well, and then, then, you're all going to get a world exclusive. The there, there is something going on with this. Remember, I told you I clipped the bench the first day because it didn't like it. It felt like it didn't let me go down. Right. And today I was going underneath something, and when I got Underneath it, it sort of coming back up. Well, does that have something to do with those rear sensors? That's those rear sensors, I'm telling you. Right. Once it gets about a foot off the ground, it wants to go back up. Now, can, you, can you turn those off? I don't know. I'm going to look. Rigor, no that, wonder that, you. That could get you in trouble. Yeah. Rigor, no more wonder you didn't have money for a new PC. You're eating like a damn millionaire. Sparkling that's the, white that's the first oil. time I have ever hit the ocean, but <laughs> mm, I was about 16 miles an hour when I was going into it. It went like somewhere. And as it started to come up, I went and it just stopped like that. Right. <laughs> and I went, oh, oh, and I said, oh, shit. <laughs> because the U.S. are banning all Chinese products, Apple are about to launch their new Apple Watch. There yes. you go. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> it's a V <laughs> It's even got yeah. built in camera. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's mm -hmm. hey, oh, bad for a tenner. Did you hear about uh, Joe went out and did yeah. search and rescue? Uh, duh, duh. Yesterday, Joe. I had a search and rescue party yesterday. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, a guy lost a $2,000 paddleboard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it gets better. It gets better, Dre. It, it, it gets Dre, better. Dre, it gets it better. better. I, heard, I heard this yesterday. You guys talking about the alligator sitting on the board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what? It, it still be lost. <laughs> well, he got it. He told me last night they were able to get it. They got out there with the jet skis. Oh, and when they pulled up there by with the jet skis, it took off. Oh, by the yeah, way, David, a couple of little scratches on it. That was about all. But hey, by the he way, paid me two hundred bucks. You're going just now. Oh, I was going to say, by the way, David, Apple users are too stupid to notice the like difference. Said, if I would have been involved and saw that game. Probably. So the boys say, dude, you're on your own, man. I'm out. <laughs> well, he paid him $200. And he gave me $100 said, to look for it. I, I, I said, here you go. You keep doing no, it. You keep medical messages. coverage. <laughs> check your messages, Joe. Yeah, my yeah, thing is, check yes. nothing. Yes, yes, you you check messages. are not subtle predators. They usually have a couple of partners running around. Oh, yeah. You know, so I say you out there focusing on one and a couple other ones don't got you squared in. Yeah, I bet yeah, you I got a question. The line. She showed me that picture of the sand, right? That With all those little look like butt marks in the sand. What's she doing? Bouncing around? <laughs> <laughs> And then today, there's a little pond by, um, it's not a little pond, it's about probably about, a, about an acre, acre and a half maybe, out in Fountain Blue Park. And they got signs, be careful, gators, mm -hmm. in there. And uh, there was a couple, they were from France, and they were, you could tell, they, 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 was, they were speaking French. They could speak a little English, but you could tell. And they had a, it had to be about a two-year-old. And mom went walking out to the beach to get something from the beach that they left out there. And the baby took off running, and the dad's sitting there watching the baby. And I said, "It's gators over there." I'm telling you, no kidding, like that. And the baby's running by the edge of the pond, so he ran over there and grabbed it 
right? Grab the baby. The mom comes back and starts pointing. Right there, right there. There was a little gator sitting right there. Mm-hmm. I almost filmed something I didn't want to film. Yeah, dude. Like I say, I'll be out of there. there ain't ain't nothing that fascinating to me about the water. The gators up in there, I'm out. Yeah, I've I've seen I've seen two or three in that pond. A little they're little, about four feet, three feet. It's little and that's big enough, you know. But well, my thing last is, year they took the ten foot like out that? of there. Guess what? The mama ain't gonna be too far. Well, they took a ten foot out last year. Yeah. I walked up there to fish last year. Walked up there, went like this, I went and saw about a three foot one sitting about six foot from me, and I went, yours. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> Turn around, put my pole up, went on. So it's all yours. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. I think well, I was Dre, watching. Dre, you're they right. Have one Where there's little ones, yard. mama's around. Yeah. Yeah. I, I ran into a little one right after a little one right after Katrina. And I heard something. I looked over, and Mom was on shore coming towards me. And Mom mm -hmm. was like 14 feet. Yeah. Big one. She came over. I had an Xterra. I got an Xterra. She came over and went to bite my tire. Oh, wow. And when she went to bite my tire, I backed up a little bit and touched her like that. And she kind of mm -hmm. flipped out the way. And a friend mm -hmm. of mine said, boy, you're lucky. I said, what do you mean? He said, that sucker would have been mad and turned that tail. It was split right through that tin. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I didn't even think about that, but I was going I was gonna run over that mouth. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't biting my shit. Yeah. Got a good picture though. Got a real good picture. <laughs> yeah, good picture. We we had at your funeral. <laughs> yeah. The last and shot then, Joe took. Then I did wait. The same day I go down, I was shooting wildlife in Signet Park. And I go down a little bit further and I'm walking through there, and it's a big walkway. And, I, and I'm going through. And every a minor mode business, I hear a crackling sound, and it sounds like a tree falling. And I heard, and all of a sudden, you hear, boom, <clears> and dust coming up <throat> from a distance, right? So a tree came down. It must have rotted out and came down. <clears throat> so I'm walking over there, and I'm looking, and there's still dust going, and the birds are going kind of crazy over there, and they got an owl in the tree going ballistic, right? And I'm looking at it, and I'm saying, yeah, that tree came down. So I take a picture. And I'm standing on the edge of the thing, and I feel something tap me on the foot. And I glance down, got an owl about this big right there. I was standing next to the baby, and it's tapping me on the foot. But I'm, I don't look up, and the owl starts coming at me. So mm. I just kept walking, you know, I let that one alone. Mm. I said, shit, I'm getting out of this place. place he, crazy. Punted the ba he punted the baby. He was like, go get it. <laughs> oh, I didn't punt nothing. I just kept walking. Wow. I, I put like this. I had my I had my uh, nine millimeter on me. The sucker come out. <laughs> yep. That Why didn't you just? Because I figured I was going to shoot something. No, uh, the, the baby was baby had everything I moved. <laughs> the yeah. baby was probably going. Hey, that was cool. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, it probably you, got thrown uh, out the tree. Yeah, but you know, if you yeah, actually yeah. picked up the owl and offered it back to its mum, you'd have been fine. Yeah, oh. right. No, I'm <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> And I'm serious. Yeah, right. I deal. I deal with. <laughs> I deal with owls hey, all the time. The the great. Okay, how much of a marine we are? I believe. <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, I'd have shot everything that moved. You just you just yeah. saw a, you just saw just feathers everywhere. <laughs> About six years ago, I got called out to a res to rescue an owl. And the guy, the guy said, "I've got it in a bird cage," and I was like, "Oh, okay." And he said, it's a big eagle owl. I'm like, ooh, this is a good one for me. Oh, thank God then. I'm like, where's the owl? I could see an African grey in the bird cage. I couldn't see an owl. And he went, it's in the bird cage. He'd only put it in with his African grey. <laughs> it was like... The African grey killed it? No. They were both snarling at each other. Hmm. Both of them were shitting it. <laughs> yeah, but that was one of my greatest rescues. So I got I got to look after it for about eight hours because it got sideswiped by a train. Mm. Well, yeah, there's some fights you don't get. Get cut from the same claw, and we say kill them all. Let God sort sort it out. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Let God sort them out. <laughs> you know what I say? 
be nice, rescue them, help them, let them go. Mm -hmm. So they can attack somebody else. Correct. Yeah. The only, like I said, the only animal I will not rescue is a snake. If I lived in Florida, them gators, they'd be safe with me. There he is. Oh, snakes ain't nothing. However, yeah, snakes are slimy little us. buggers. They ain't not to us and I was going over the area where they saw the gator. Really? There he is, sitting right there. Snakes are as dry as anything. Scaly and slimy. Not slimy. They just feel like, some it, of them feel like that. Well, say we're actions. going through that grass at you. They're slimy. Smooth skin. Yeah, it's just a really smooth skin. And, and all I could think when I was above that pond with the air to us was that video I saw the alligator jumping up and grabbing, grabbing the yeah. drone. So I, <laughs> I made sure I was 20 feet high. <laughs> and I was watching. Did that sucker come out the water? I was going up. <laughs> oh, that gator ain't jumping no 20 feet. You're plenty I, think, I thought 20 foot was enough. But there's, there's well, a little bit of this, this scene, animals do certain things. We are all, all amazed of the quickness, the strength, and the power of animals like that. Whoever think a gator can get vertical out of the water to, to snatch a drone. Well, and the one good thing about gators, though, is mm -hmm. they're more opportunist eaters than actual hunters. They well, like I said, I'm not going to present no opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yours, baby. We present even less opportunities. We're in a different country. Uh, yeah, I have I, I, well, an eagle. I saw the eagle a few weeks back, and I got about 70 feet from the eagle, and I, got a, I, went, I moved it to about 50 feet. And when I got it to about 50 feet, it was just sitting there on his mind his own business and turned around and looked right at me and went. Just like that. Got a good look at it, right? And it's looking at me, and I'm thinking, it's saying, don't you come any closer. <laughs> and it kind of ruffled its feathers once, so then I backed off. And then later when I was going to land, it come off screeching freedom, you know, <laughs> and, and telling me I better take it away. Um, and then his partner came along. That come along, too. I had two of them flying above it. Mm -mm. Joe, look I'd at that. Back up, I'd have lost that drone. Yeah. Joe, look at that camera and messenger and tell me if that's any good. Hold on. Uh, uh, anything Dusty. you order from Timu, Justin, I wouldn't trust it. Uh, D Dusty found something on Facebook Marketplace. I wanted to know if it was any good. Oh, yeah, I don't know nothing about cameras. So. Is it decent and for the price? That, that I don't know enough about cameras, so I don't know. Well, I don't like the name. I don't like Lumix cameras anyway. It's a knockoff of somebody. What are they kind of like the imitation brand of all the big guys or something? Always like copying uh, them or something. I'm, I've never I'm heard of that to, brand, so yeah, I've, I've heard of it, but I've never really. Let me see what I can find out. Is it is it the cold camera or just the lens? No, it's uh here. I'll show it. It's a you. Panasonic. Panasonic makes it. Lumix. Lumix. Yeah, I was say. I said you said Lumix. It's like Panasonic. Yeah, Panasonic. Yeah. Uh, it's Panasonic. Yeah, so this it's, is uh, a, this is an old camera. He said he knows it's old, but he wants to know if it's good for the price. They want two hundred for it. It's a VZ two hundred or FZ two hundred. Look up, look the up the VZ two hundred. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for the specs. Yeah. <sighs> See, this is when you know life is really, really bad for you. Come on, Joe. You miss going oh, through that tree no. spread all over the place. Lunchtime. Yeah. Lunchtime. I'm having turtle. Turtle's like, no, you're not. Bye. Which, which tree are you talking <laughs> about? And it just gives up. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> that one that was spread all over the place? You see what Cool Cat said? He said good things about I'd have to go back and look at it. Yeah, cool you'd have to go said... back and look at it. Is that one gigantic tree that had 
It looked like it was kind of spread all over the place. Had one big log lib way off to the right. Hey, uh, there was a nice gap. <laughs> David, cool. Okay, what so what is he going to use it for? I don't know. Dusty, if you're in the chat, answer him. I have no idea. Right. And Cool Cat thinks that uh, having sex with an owl is a good thing because it can maintain eye contact with you. Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe picked on me yesterday, Andrew. He yeah. said I missed one gap. So I'm picking on Joe yeah. today. I was waiting for somebody to see at the end of that. That's the one going through the um the ruins. Cool. Yeah, it looks like a nice park. Yeah, there's one area when you get right near the end, and I'm coming up the little stream. I was I saw a big gap through the like a tunnel going underneath the road. Yeah, I saw that. One. That one was there. through that. Yeah, I saw that early. I was like, "Ooh, he didn't go through the tunnel." Although I don't blame it because the if the signal got lost. But all the girls told Joe he missed the gap. Unless you put R unless you put RTH <laughs> on hover, it wouldn't be safe to go through there. I'm just look. I'm just gonna stick this right here for a while. And just leave it, it right there. Yeah. Just for Justin. <laughs> okay, this is my question. Let me try to find out. It doesn't look like it's a bad camera. It's a good entry level. It's gonna. He's he got a minimum sixtieth of a second, one four thousand of a second. He can get by. It's two point eight aperture, so that he can get low light. Uh, Which camera? ISO. The ISO only goes to 3200, so you're not taking anything without a flash inside. Yeah. 13 it's, megapixels, you can get away with. You get an 8 by about, 10, 16 by 20. That means that camera's about 14 years old, minimal. Yeah, it's old. If it's only uh, 10 or 12 megapixels. No. 12, 12 years, 12 years old. Yeah. Now, would you say that's worth 200? Yeah. Uh, sure. You think you I could would, talk them down? I'm trying to see what they'll say, how many shutters. And that was listed three weeks ago, so they obviously it ain't, ain't getting any bikes. No, yeah, I, I mean, from, you're talking from about 100. a 10 or 12 megapixel camera, and the standard for your day is 24 and up. Yeah, you get them 50. Yeah, I guess the problem is you can go to Best Buy and get a point and shoot that has better specs. Yeah, and I mean, you know, not the just not the lens. Like that would be a great camera to give to a kid who's in a photography class in high school. Yes. Yeah, it would. It so, also depends on how many pictures it's actually taken up to now. Yeah, mm. that's the thing, and it's not telling me what the what the what the limitation is on it either in the spec. Right. Yeah, and it's like maybe for a, how much would you? Yeah, that's what I did this uh, holiday. My my granddaughter is in a photography class at her school, and I gave her my old Rebel XT. I gave her that, and I gave her one of the uh, uh, old uh, pocket cameras that I had sitting around. And I said, here you go. I said, this is more than enough that you need for your class at school. You do anything right. you want to do. Now, Joe, explain to Dusty, since he's in the chat, that I remember you saying that's one thing you have to watch out for cameras is they're only rated for so many shots, right? Yeah, the, every, the every camera mechanical. is rated. The mechanical cameras are rated for a certain amount of yeah. shots. Put a shutter, and this one doesn't. Nowhere on this is telling me how many shots. Now, chances are, this it's not a professional that bought this camera. I guarantee you. Right. Probably somebody <laughs> yeah. that bought it used it a few times and threw it. In the yeah, so they may they set. may have taken two thousand pictures in their lifetime. You know that's what I'm thinking. They probably you know, just sat take, in a closet. I, I've yeah. had people tell me that think they take a lot of pictures. They'll say, I, "I said, well, how many do you think I've taken since 2016?" Well, maybe about 4,000. And it makes me want to laugh because I'm almost at three quarters of a million. Mm. You can do 4,000 in a day with. I could do 4,000 at two football games. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's like. Dre, you're doing you should, 12 you frames should a second. A wet film camera. If you're yeah. doing a photography <laughs> class, you've got to do it properly. Well, yeah. you know, if that if, if I knew the school had a dark room, I would have. About interested in giving her something like that, but they probably they do everything digital now. So oh, giving her something dear. like that would be more of an expense for me to have to create a dark room for her to even expose the film. Not even well, a point. Not even a point. Gold awards. Oh. 
Why do you think Fuji and Kodak have got away from even making that stuff for the most part? Uh, Jim, Jim, I've seen your videos. You might want to sell all your camera equipment. <laughs> Just saw it. I've still got uh, three, three wet film bodies. You know, I I tell you what, I would I would offer to I would I would if you if you could see it and fool with it, make sure it works. The batteries may not hold a charge because they're so old. I don't know if you'd be able yeah. to pick up batteries for it. Yeah, you uh, pick up batteries thing, probably on Amazon or eBay pretty easy. Yeah, you might mm. be able to find an off brand or you know. Uh, but what would you it? offer? Like, say you were really interested in it, and you were if he, going. If he's in, trying to get something just to start learning or take some pictures, offer a hundred bucks. Yeah, because that's been listed for three weeks, which means that person yeah. has gotten no bites. Say if it. he'll take a hundred for it. If he says one hundred and fifty, you know, if you if you want to go one twenty five, I wouldn't go more than one twenty five. But yeah. you got to make sure it's working. If it's not working, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. I'd have to shoot it a few times and see because it may not autofocus right. You never. You never know. Once they get that old in electronics, electronics at a point besides it doesn't want to, it doesn't do what it was supposed to do. Now, he well, could he could he find something in that price range that's newer that would take decent photos? You get something that's, I would say, go with a, I'm work, a Canon person. Go with a yeah. Canon mm -hmm. uh, Rebel T5 T6. or T6. Yeah. You can get those, those for about 200 bucks. Easy. Where okay. was this at? On eBay or Marketplace? I don't know where they saw. I think Justin said it was at when he looked at his Marketplace, but you can find yeah. eBay, you can find those Canon uh, Rebels T6 all day long. And a T7, yeah. if you want to stretch your budget, you can get a T7 for about 300 bucks. Yeah. If you and get a T7 does... and it's in good shape, jump on it. Yeah. Now, does that come T7, with the lens? T7 puts you right around yeah. the uh, 20 megapixel range. Uh, takes yeah. 1080p video. There you go. You so get on Dusty. Find an early D5 cheap enough. Yeah, yeah D5 to D7 is good. The D5 body, I think, is the T7. There you well, go, Dusty. Is it? Dusty, look for those and try to talk somebody down a little bit. Yeah, if you can find a T six or whatever. Yeah, start with a six and talk it down. Mm -hmm. Try to make sure yeah. you, they're, they're not offering you all the lenses and all of that stuff until mm. you, you're sure. Because I still use I still use my T six when I go out and do ground shots. It works just fine, and that that T six yeah. is eighteen megapix <laughs> megapixel. I've got I've got a D five and three D D tens. Yeah, I'll probably upgrade to to maybe uh, something a little more recent, another year or two. But I mean, for what I use it for, that T that T uh, six works great. You know, I'm not taking action shots at games like Joe's using and stuff where I need even a faster shutter speed. And yeah, you got to you got to make sure you. I was shooting. I was shooting baseball the other night at at uh, six o'clock, six thirty. Mm -hmm. I was uh sixteen fifty. My that was my shutter speed. Right. I was three point five, and my ISO was sixty four hundred. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so it was coming out good. Clean the grain up after the fact. Uh, it, hardly any grain. Hardly any grain. Okay. Yeah, I was catching enough of it, and then when it got when it got to the point where those lights took over, right? I dropped it down, and I I, I found the sevens. This is what they're good for. The, the sevens. I mean, if you go like at football, when I'm shooting football at night, one thousandth of a second, you got to mm -hmm. get that one thousandth of a second, because right. if you don't, you're going to get grain. Right. You get more grain than you think. Uh, Three point two. I will not go to two point eight, because two point mm -hmm. eight will give you grain. Three point two give you a little bit of depth of field. Okay. And I lock it in at ten thousand. Yeah, like I tell a lot of people, it's, it's, sometimes it's, it's not all the specs of the camera. Is what your knowledge is and how to yep. get the action, what angle you're at, yep. is, is more important than anything else. Yeah, I tell people, I say people always want to get from the side view. I said, no, you need to get from oh. the end zone. The end zone shots coming at you, and that's where you'll get the clear shots. Is that that explains towards you. That explains why Matt can't get a good shot with a Mavic Three. Yeah. Right? 
<laughs> but yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's more about your knowledge of how to use the camera than the camera itself. Yeah. But but 12 years ago, it, if you're taking something inside, you're going to get grain. Unless right, you're using a plate. Yeah. So that's what I always tell people about even with the drones. I said, learn to use your drone to its fullest capability before you move yep. on to the next one. Yeah. Well, like like the like you said, Dre, I was looking at the Nikon, the X nines that are coming up. Mm -hmm. And I was looking to switch over to the X9 and I'll put them all in. I put everything I would buy. I didn't look at price. I just stuck them in with two bodies, stuck everything mm -hmm. into the, the Adorama cart, right? And I said, well, Marine Corps takes care of me. I, I'm going to go get all of this because I'm going to upgrade to the latest and greatest, right? I go yeah. up here and I'm doing this and I pull it up. And when I finish, it says $62,000. <laughs> you know what I said? My cameras work fine. <laughs> yeah. Cameras are perfect. I don't need nothing. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need any one of them. Man. Ain't no wrong with my cameras. Yeah, I'm trying to. That's why, that's why I said sometimes we get, we, we, we we allow ourselves to get hyped up on stuff, and then, like I say, oh, yeah. hopefully that that little voice in the back of your head, the common sense voice, say, "Hey, hey, 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 what, what, what are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that X nine body, well, that's body going on. Some cases, yeah, sixty nine hundred for the body. Wow, but it's got it's got um, it's got AI focusing. Yeah. So what it does. It it picks up if, if say you got a dog and a cat in a in a shot and you're in a mm -hmm. shot, it'll look and pick up the eyes and know which eyes are what. Right. Like that's a dog, that's a cat, and that's a human. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna make sure it, it, it and for somehow this is always it's gotta be AI. Oh my god, it's Donald. Be computer. It'll if you your depth of field, if the eyes in the back, they're gonna have that eye in the back and you and the depth of field is gonna be right so everything's mm -hmm. clear. Yeah. So it's going to make that adjustment for you. Donald's in the chat making eight mile references. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I noticed that. <sighs> you know, you guys are talking about cameras. You think Donald would be jumping on the panel? Yeah. yeah. One of his favorite <laughs> subjects. Instead, he's in the chat making movie quotes. Mm Well, he only uses them for his video. only fan site. Have you been watching the new uh, Star Trek, Justin? I, I thought uh, movie quotes was Donald's yeah. favorite. You're talking yeah. about Discovery? Yeah. Yeah, I've caught up on it. Oh, it okay. It's doing it's doing a lot better than the last series. Well, this one had the, the first two episodes were pretty intense. I liked them. Yeah. yeah. I got to finish the Actually, no, I have a. I watched half of the last episode. I got to finish watching it. I got yeah. to the point where they agitated those two monsters, and then yeah. I yeah. got sidetracked doing something, and I never went back and finished watching yeah, I'm it. Finished. Yeah, the third <laughs> episode. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to come out with another Star Trek show because now that Picard's over, this one's about to be over. Mm. Sorry. <clears throat> Is it on Netflix? No, it's, um, Paramount. Paramount. Right, okay. Paramount and Prime. Because I, I like watching them on Prime, because Prime, you don't get no commercials. Paramount will slide some little 90 second commercials in on you. Mm. I'll just find it on my IPTV, then it won't have any commercial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Picard was really good. I liked Picard. Yeah. I wish I would have done a little bit more of that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I was never really into the original Star Trek, but I like the newer ones a little bit. Mm. <clears throat> I definitely like the Picard one. Mm. I'd agree. Come on, trouble with tribbles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, yeah. and you know what, uh, Hot Rod? They have recirculated that storyline in a couple of different series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh come on! How could you not? That that's got to be one of the better episodes that they yeah, ever I did. Think, I think it was even in Discovery where he talked about the they captured one of Mud's old ships. Hmm. Yeah, Harry Mud does get a mention many a yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, and he was another character, right? Mm -hmm. It was the probably the basis pirate. of the film Goonies as well, actually. 
Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing, Mark. Donald's asking what IPTV is. Internet Protocol Television. Yeah. Dodgy TV over the internet. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's not dodgy. It's just not based, legal. It's well, yeah. <laughs> it's kind be... of not legal because it breaches copyright rules, but um, it's basically. A company that sets itself up, trolls the internet, finds all of the streams and puts them on an app and then charges you for the maintenance of that app. But it costs like £50 a year and it literally gets everything <laughs> that's streamed on the internet that's television or film. I mean, shouldn't yeah. it be but called get, Al Gore TV? But if you get IP caught, TV? you're getting shit. Well, they don't bother with the people watching it. Well, they, they do. They get a fine, but the people providing the service, the they, get the slapped, they get slapped in jail. Yeah. But they're nearly all abroad anyway. Still going after the fuckers. Yeah, well, most like, of Mostly, a lot of that stuff, as long as you're using it for your own private use, Nobody's gonna bother you, but if you start trying to yeah. restream it out to through YouTube or something else, then that's when you get your hand slapped. Mm -hmm. Yep. Most of those uh, services are actually out of India. <clears throat> There's a lot of them. Like... Bollywood. A lot of them out of the UK. <laughs> Quite a lot from South America as well. Mm -hmm. places where the law isn't quite as uh, strict. So Don's in rare form tonight. I just want to come steal Dre's M30. <laughs> <laughs> well, not even the entire yeah, not this. even the entire drone. I just want to he, steal he the flying no gaps with it. I just want <laughs> I just want to steal the 16X optical. <laughs> I said, you will not be flying no gas with that. Well, maybe if it's the St. Louis Arch. <laughs> yeah, that might. As long as you're down at the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> no, I want that big optical zoom. That's what I want. Yeah. I haven't had to use it for anything particular yet, but I know it's there. And I know at, at least up to 40, it is clear as day. No <laughs> pixelation or nothing. I need it for the rocket launches. Yeah. Now you see that Avada, when I flew the first Avada, it took me about two months before I flew it over water because all the people having them drop out the sky and everything. Mm -hmm. And now I don't, I'm not as nervous about it. I got out there with the Avada too the last couple of days and I'm over water and it's like, no big deal. It's like, I trust it now, you know? Were there any alligators in that water you were flying over at the park? Uh, today? They, I, I, there was one that a, that a couple saw. They, uh, I, they were from France, and they were uh, sitting there eating lunch. And they left something out on the beach, so the mom went out to get it. And the baby, that was maybe about two years old, went running after her. And I, I looked over at him and said, don't let the baby go too close. I said, there are alligators in there. They got signs, right? So he ran over there, grabbed the baby, and the mom was coming back, and they stopped. There was a gator sitting in the water right there. I didn't go see it, but I was flying the Avada around. But I put the drone up in that same area, and I couldn't find it. It must have went into something. Mm. Right. I got I got about six minutes of footage real close, so I'm going to go back and look. Yeah, well, now Come with on. those new goggles, you'll be able to see the gators coming at you. What gate? I didn't worry about the gators. If I knew the girl, so what the girl looked like. I just tap on to watch her. Yeah, okay. Dre, how would that thermal camera manage a rocket launch? Uh, Not thermal. It's got an the optical. Thermal, he would yeah, have no, to... it's got a thermal on it. Yeah, and, I, and that's why you got to be careful with the, with thermal drones because a lot of times uh, 
you can, depending on what you're doing, you can turn the thermal on or off. Uh, I know on my Enterprise Advance, it does, it's, it's on constantly. Now, when I use the uh, multi-spectrum, it's not a thermal, but I can choose which lens I want to use. Now, I have to check the M30T, see if it allows me to use only certain parts. I know I, I, know I can turn the laser designator off, but I'm not sure if I can turn the thermal off. The thermal would probably be of no use when the thing's like 40 miles away in the air. I'm not even no, sure what it would pick up. Yeah, well, the, the light's going to be so bright, it'll pick it up, but then you got to worry about burnout on the on the, on the sensor. Mm. With that uh, small, it would easily burn the sensor out with that kind of... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With that type of bright light from the launch, it could burn the sensor. Daryl says the H-22. And that's the biggest issue people have with thermal drones that they think they can continue to fly these things in the daytime and fly towards the sun, and then they wonder why they get these little artifacts in their in their uh, lens uh, picture later on. But the sensors is shot. There you go. Uh, Daryl said that the H-20T has 200 times them. Yeah, that's what the, uh, the uh, M30T. But that's uh, digital. But that's digital. The optical, well, I think you told me, was hybrid. It's, it's not full digital. It's hybrid. Mm. So you you can go up to it's optical up to eighteen times, and then it goes some whatever they do with the magic numbers from there. Yeah, it, uh, it goes up to two hundred. I remember you telling me that before. Yeah, that 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 the optical was yeah. sixteen, eighteen. Right, mm. and you get. I mean, I can say, I've I've had up to 40, 40 times. Looking at looking at people, and it is sharp, razor sharp, and stuff. And like I said, we why why I did a demonstration for the PD. We were about uh, I don't know what Zoom he had on, but we we're about eight hundred yards away, and we can tell the interior of the front seat of a vehicle, and everything else, dude. So if you, if you wanted to just check out somebody, period, and that drone will do it without without getting close at all. Well, if you take look in, in, in a chat, uh, it's going to be just over two times digital anyway, isn't it? So that's not too bad. In in the chat, uh, Andrew stuck a thing for me a, a, a Instagram post. I'm gonna go get. We need you and I need one of these. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I need one of them. Go hunt that gators was... with that. Uh, that's at um, a sh trade show or whatever for the military. They yeah. want to call it a. Mm. Yeah, you got a couple. Daryl using that H twenty T. You can't fly when you're zoomed zoomed out real far. Like I mean, forty, even at forty, you need to be pretty much stationary. And there is a thing on the M thirty T that allows the gimbal head to have, a, I think it's a 60 degree angle sway from left to right. And that's what the only thing you're gonna be able to do because trying to fly the drone with that much magnification, it is yeah. it's like, it's harebrained. <laughs> you know, it, you can't judge distance or nothing. That's why they put two cameras on a lot of those drones one for the fpv yeah. one for the camera right and that's why i said i use you know fpv drone is, is nice to get into position then switch to the uh the lower the, cameras and go ahead and focus on what you're doing because that's what that's what confuses a lot of people they miss hit a button and they don't realize they're in they're in a magnification mode and they're wondering that oh i'm this close and it's like wow Well, it's almost time for me to head home, so I'm going to do that. You gentlemen have mm -hmm. a fine evening. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dre, yeah. hey, thanks for coming in. Oh, anytime, hey, well. Paul. Anytime. Appreciate you. Take care, Dre. Uh, you guys Thanks a lot, Dre. Bye-bye. Yeah, and, and I'm sure Laura says goodbye, too, Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Uh,
Oh, you can get one of those, Joe. Just, you know, go down to the local bank, see if they'll give you a couple million you know, on a loan. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> get one of those boats. That's got that automatic uh, 50 cal on the top, too. Yeah, I know. I thought that was the best part of it. You fucking you shred a gator in half. Yeah, you cut that gator in half with one of those. I'd be out there. I'd be out there in Lake Pontchartrain with that thing, and wildlife and fisheries never bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go talk to Jack Rabbit. See you guys later. You can, uh, they're gonna ask you. You got your fishing license, sir? Do you have a death wish? <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you say you have your fishing license. Do I need one? <laughs> As the guns aiming at him. Are you really asking me that, right? Now you say I'm not fishing, I'm hunting. That's when you flash your one badge really quick so I can't see it and be like, hold on. I, I'll pull out all the rooms, so which one you want. <laughs> You just flip it so fast they don't see it, you know, and then you say, Homeland Security, I got this. <laughs> keep it moving. I keep saying I'm going to get one for concealed carry. It looks like a U.S. Marshal. Oh, God. <laughs> they can actually give you a concealed carry badge? You can, They got them. You can get them. Oh, I wanted I to get one that. made, though. It was going to be an exact replica of a U.S. Marshal badge and just say concealed carry on it. What, mm -hmm. So when you look at it quick, you see it is. It looks like a U.S. Marshal badge, and and that's so respected around here. It's like they wouldn't ask you a question, you know. Mm -hmm. But they'll say concealed carry with the concealed carry number on, it, so it wouldn't wouldn't be illegal. Wouldn't say U.S. Marshal. Mm -hmm. Just look a little bit like it. That's like Jeremy Dwight's badge. It looked like the LAPD's. <laughs> <laughs> that's why when it's I like designed this. I made sure it didn't look like anybody's around here. Which is funny because it's like, why would you design your badge to look like the LAPDs and you're in fucking Florida? And the LAPD has such an iconic badge. Like as soon as the cops arrested them, they looked at it, they said it looks just like the LAPD badge. Like it's like, you think you would have done it to more of a local agency, not fucking make it look like it, you know, all the way across the United States. Mm. Because I could, you, you could, oh. you could show me an NYPD or LAPD badge without no markings on it, and so, and I could tell you, I could recognize it right off, right off the bat because they're so iconic. Those two badges, because they they have some of the biggest police departments. Well, I hate to give you guys bad news, but it's all over for Donald Trump, not politically. As in, you vote in, and I don't mean in court. He's been endorsed by Liz Truss. Liz Truss was our <laughs> shortest ever prime minister. She came in, she wrecked the economy overnight, and then fought, got kicked out. Yeah, and uh, she now the, thinks um, Donald the, Trump will make the best, best prime minister. Point, so, point, good Dave. luck. Nobody over here knows who the hell she is, and nobody over here cares who she is. Yeah, oh, that's, that's true. She's I didn't know who she a, was. She's a jinx. Then. She was the Prime Minister of the UK for a couple of weeks. Yeah. She, literally, she came in, she, br she brought in a, a new Chancellor who did a mini-budget and within hours of him launching his mini-budget, the UK economy went... It just fell yeah. flat on its ass. Yeah, I would say 90% of people over here wouldn't even know who she was or even probably even hear about that endorsement. It's all oh, right. you will, because she's over there at one of his rallies. 90% 90 of the UK people don't know who she is either. No, she wasn't uh, around long no. enough. She was there 100% of the UK. It's almost 100% don't want to know who she is. I'm sure her mum and dad are fine with her, but the rest of us, nah. <laughs> Eventually we'll be a woman president. Oh, I'm sure at some point, Jim, that'll happen. Hey, you never know. <laughs> might might be one before November. <laughs> yeah. 
Biden's well, t- before then and the vice president takes over. I tell you, Biden was walking across the lawn yesterday. Looked like he was going to fall down. There's been a, uh, quite a few handfuls of them that have tried to get the nomination to run, but the only one that ever, I want to say the only one that ever got nominated to actually run was Hillary, wasn't it? Yeah. Back when she ran against Donald Trump. I think she's the only woman that's ever actually been nominated in her party. Oh, as I'm aware, run. yeah. Hasn't she been nominated twice, though? Not that I'm aware of, no. Because Obama ran the two years before. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Obama. Trump, so she would have been on his side. So, But I think she's the only one that was ever actually nominated to run. And she lost against Trump back in 2016. Yeah. Yeah. And she's still bitching about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yet that's okay for her to bitch about it. Did y'all see you uh, on the show last night, Dominic? Where'd they get what? that hat at? Where'd they get that hat? Which hat? That Trump hat with the hair. Oh, I don't know. You'd probably get them on Amazon. It was like $14. <laughs> it's got the hair. It looks like Donald Trump's hair. Yeah. I want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's some things I want, but Donald Trump's hair is not one of them. And if it was a baseball cap, I don't want it. Now, David, you know we don't believe that. I'm quite happy with my hair. There you go, Joe. There you go. A whole bunch of Where's them. Where's he found it? Yeah, on Amazon, huh? Yeah. Nine ninety nine. Look at that one. Yeah, and then you get a bunch of free shit with it, like stickers and stuff. Oh, shit, I to buy that. Ooh, stickers. <laughs> yeah, I like stickers. <laughs> oh, you get so these uh, go on your shoelaces, and then you get uh, a right. 50 pack of Trump stickers. Hey, <laughs> why put them all over my drone case? Why yeah. does it look like um I don't know? Some hairy dog's just been shaved and had it glued on. It's like what well, like, like, like troll hair from the Show yeah. the trolls back in the day. Someone's just going to look to the troll doll and gone. That'll do. Boom. Is it? There right, you go, it. Joe. I just sent you the Lincoln Messenger for the $9 one. Yeah, thank you. I might buy it. Yeah, I just got go, it. I felt it. Go around and piss all the gas stations off and start putting the stickers all over the gas pumps again. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, they were getting so pissed in Florida, the gas station owners, because all the Biden stickers they were putting on the on the uh, gas pumps. Oh, here, I'll actually show you which one it was. Here, I got one right here. It was this one right here. And it said, I did that. And he was pointing at the... Yeah. Pointing at the they would put it right next to where the gas prices were. And they were putting them all over. Dude, you go to a fucking gas pump, there'd be like 200 of them on a gas pump. And they were getting so pissed because they were having to go out there and scrape all the stickers off and they started threatening legal action against people. And uh, some of the police departments were putting out things saying, come on now, you guys can't be putting stickers all over private property. So they started kind of getting on in some places about it. You don't see them as much anymore. Every once in a while, you'll see one. But Mind you, does Trump mean the same in the U.S. as it does in the U.K.? No. I don't know. What does it mean over there? And then I'll tell you. Pascal. No, Trump over here would mean like uh I want better. Yeah, like uh Yeah, like well I, you I have Trump. that. We yeah, have you've got that. It means that in Trumps cards and, and things like that. Yeah, top Trumps and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, if you well, um if you Trump, win, you've, you've done a Trump. Oh no, no, no. If if over here people would use it as a term of like you would say, oh, I got a $2,000 camera, and I'd be like, oh, I'll trump that. I got a $4,000 yeah, camera. Yeah, you got yeah, one yeah, of it. Yeah, it means yeah. that as well. 
That's yeah. the that's the only way I've ever heard it used. I've never heard it oh. used as a fart. Yeah, over here. Oh, I had a nice curry last night, and when I finished, I had this massive crumb. Oh. I don't know if you said that over here. You might piss some people off. I don't know. <laughs> oh, put it this way. If you guys come over here, right, and say I'd like to slap that girl on the fanny, you're gonna get you're gonna get your head kicked in. Yeah. 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 Ben, because the fanny's the front part and the bum's the, the back the part. Front, not back. <laughs> 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 but it is weird how things are different. Yeah. I mean, we technically live the same, eat the same, and everything else. Then we have a few words that are just slightly different. Yeah. I mean, like the F-A-G that I keep using and then realize that's offensive to Americans, so I can't use it. <laughs> yeah, because that's a, that's a cigarette, a dart. Yeah. A dart. Yeah, a bifter. Yeah. Well, I've, not heard, I've not heard anyone use that term since I was at school, a bifter. You use that at school, Mark? No. Anyone got a bifter to sell? No. Usually a dart or a dairy over here. Yeah, it's hey, a David, bifter. It's only offensive to, offensive to them. So to Justin, <laughs> you won't have heard that. What? What? <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, it's like... like... It's like talking when about you, different words where mean different things and different, you know, using a, and a name for a cigarette. Yeah, but I mean, fag was short for faggot. Oh, yeah, which, which is a meatball. Yeah, it's a meatball. It's actually um, a type of Italian bean as well. So, using it in that context and using it in into a bundle of twigs. Is also that terminology that's too. Right, yeah, that's a faggot, yeah. Well, you're going to keep saying it. <laughs> of course. No, it in yeah. There context. is nothing wrong with the word faggot. It's, and he says it's it again. the context. So, so I can go to the French board and say, hey, me, Bob. Context. <laughs> you just say you can go to the French right, board and say, hey, hey, me, Bob. Hey, me, Bob. <laughs> no, I say that in French quarter. Maybe you think I want to date or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not about to call, call anybody a meatball. Mm. It's not a French meatball. It's definitely Lancashire. What is? Mm. A faggot. Yeah. I think it's a UK thing. I don't think it's just a Lancashire there thing. Italian, there are Italian meatballs also with that name too. Mm. That's what yeah, I, was I think it is tonight. Italian. Damn, yeah, I was supposed to cook spaghetti meatballs, and I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> you forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Oh my god! <laughs> I went to the I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday, and I was looking through. The, you don't go into Dollar Tree hungry because they got all kind of little stupid snacks in it, like the <laughs> cheese sticks and the the jalapeno poppers and all of that. So I was mm -hmm. walking to the back and I was going to get some jalapeno pop. I said, no, I don't want them. And next to it, they had spring rolls, vegetable spring rolls. It was a pack, dollar and a quarter, eight little spring rolls, right? So I grabbed the pack. I said, I could do that with the rice, the jambalaya or something, just to give me a little extra. I made them suckers last night. Those things were so good. I went back today and bought five more packs. <laughs> yeah. It's a good, quick little 12-minute cook snack, you know? You mean you didn't go to your deli counter on Friday? No. I haven't been there in a while. Last time I went, when I went the last time, I was waiting for the guy to empty the bar. They emptied it into a basket and threw it away. Because <laughs> he had, I mean, he had a pile of shrimp just high, and they dumped it into a basket and threw it away. Oh, dear. YouTube did not like me saying the cigarette no no word. Who said that? Daryl. So he must have said it in a video at some point and got in trouble. I don't know. Like I said, it's all in terms of the thing over here. Yeah, it's a, it's all about context, but YouTube don't give a crap about that. 
It depends, like I said, it depends on the, how you use it and how the other person interprets yeah, it. I mean, I've used it a few times on my um, stream and then realised what I said and gone, what? I mean... Um, In fact, I mean, Oscar Wilde was proud to have been called it. Mm. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I'm going to the royal throne. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't let the corgis yeah. bite you. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Mm -mm. More likely to be a bit eaten by an alligator in there than a. Uh... <laughs> well, it's 10 minutes after 12 there. You deserved a good night in the throne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to fly with Johnny tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're going to fly tomorrow around 10. Oh, good. Actually, he says he's going to call me. He's going to call me about 10 and let me know what time. Who's on just, tonight? Oh, Lloyd's just, on. Uh, just, uh, you Lloyd's, on. Right? Lloyd's on in about 45 Lloyd's minutes. Lloyd's on in about 45 minutes, yeah. Who's on? Lloyd. Lloyd. Oh, Lloyd is. Okay. No, I'm not going on tonight. Okay. Just wanted and then to know it's, that. after that, it's Drone Nation, isn't it? Yep. Yep. So Ron and Marcus talking about the new Avatars? Mm -hmm. Probably. They'll probably have Johnny on. It gets me, because Ron's there with his sheet and his agenda about what's being said and what's... And everybody else just goes on about whatever they want to. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's great. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so what can we talk about while David's not here? <laughs> I don't know if David's coming back, is he? He's left his camera on. Hmm. I thought he just went to the loo. Yeah, he's just gone to the loo. So you and Johnny are going to go fly tomorrow, Joe? Yeah, well, he wants to go to that park we go to every once in a while because he wants to get out there and um, spry all the different acro things with it. So you have to you have to teach him, do you? I'm not teaching. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I did. I did the drift today. The first, uh, the uh, one hundred and eighty drift today. The first time, yeah. Where yeah, you I, you pass a tree you... and you turn it. Where it turn. What happens? It's going forward, and when you pass it, it turns towards it, then starts going backwards. Wow. And it does that. And the, the key to it, because I was asked by I think Hot Rod asked me, does it stop going backwards and go back forward? No. No. Lungs, lungs you're holding yeah. the trigger, it's going backwards. So you got to stop it to go forward again. Or turn, Lance, or you could, you could probably turn it with your wrist. It so you was have to make sure it's not a wall or a tree. Every so, time I see it, he starts talking again. It was Lance that asked. Lance asked that? Lance. Okay. Lance. Oh, Lance. Lance did. Thought it was right. But um, but it, it does it pretty fast, and it's going backwards pretty fast, so you got to pay attention where you're at. So it's kind of like a tracking move. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And what's the other one it does? A sideways slide or something? 
it does a slide, but it. Come on, it's got problems. I'll show you what you get out of it. It's flying <laughs> like this, and you tell it to slide, and all you get, all you get is a little turn like this. So all it does is turns like that a little bit. That, I'm not even. I'm never going to use that. They need to take that one off. Oh, she did that. They get the front flip, back flip, side, the right and left flips, and the 180. The 180 is pretty cool. You're flying real fast, and you got a pretty girl walking. You can do that turn around and watch her. <laughs> I, I will be using that on the lakefront. Have you, tried, a lot of have you tried the front and back flips? Yeah. I did that. <clears throat> the front and back flips work pretty good, but the, again – you need to remember when you're flipping it to keep the throttle. I've got one of them after this one goes up. I've got another one I'm working on. I'm going to call it flippity dippity. Flippity dippity. Somebody said it will actually fly 3D upside down. Uh, you might be able to do it manual. That's every drone for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> You're a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I think it might, it might have been on potato. Yeah. Yeah, he might have been. Uh, might no. have been him. But um, but I, I got another one. I, I went after I did the playground. That? I just turned around and put it up again and flew out in the open field and around mm -hmm. all the trees out there. And all I did was all kind of flips with it. All kind of flips. Just to see what it would do in the 180s, just to try to learn it. I did the slide, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna when I do it, when I when I edit it, I'm gonna put what it is, right flip, left flip, and all that on there. So so you'll see it in it. And I did the slide once. I said I'm not doing that anymore. No <laughs> I didn't like it. You know? <laughs> I think I did it like back to back to see what it was doing. But I didn't think it did it, but it did. But the 180s are awesome. The 180s are awesome. Well, you play with it enough, you might find a reason to use it. But you can't mix them together. You have to actually physically stop to change from one to the other. Well, you while you're flying, if you're fast enough, if you can do it, if you're fast enough, if you can do it, I bet you you could. It's a good test. Because to all it is is changing the switch. I may try that tomorrow. Be flying, doing know, the yeah. flips, and then switching it once and seeing if it does this thing right back to back. Mm. I might throw it out the air. You never know. <laughs> but we're going to be over grass tomorrow, so over soccer fields. Oh, and you have to, to be with... six You have to be six feet off the ground. You're going yeah. to fly with Johnny tomorrow? Yeah. We're not expecting any bad weather here till Friday. I'm expecting I'm going to be flying every day. I put out – I put out – as of right now, 15, 16, 17 videos this month already. And I got one more <laughs> I got to work Darryl. on. And then tomorrow I'll have a couple. You're a fucking idiot, Daryl. <laughs> uh. But you got to, <laughs> when I got a good day and I don't have nothing to do, I'm going to fly. Uh. I'm going to get out there and fly. I got one thing to do Wednesday. I got to meet my, my insurance guy at 10 o'clock. And guess where I'm meeting him? Up by Covington. I'm going to go over to Bug for Liar Park and fly that. <laughs> Bug for Liar Park because they got the, those gaps there that I saw that I, I finally went back and went through. Now the grass should be coming up. So I'm going to use the Avada 2 all through that and go up and down the river with it and everything else. I actually want to go around the back of the river. There's a big restaurant out there, Chimes, Boy. and they have a walkout dock. I want to go on, and yeah. buzz their dock and come back. Won't they let you do this? They do we'll land it while they're empty. Hmm? What is that? Can, can you do the stadiums while they're empty? Oh. No. Oh, yeah, I can do stadiums when they're empty. <clears throat> I've, I've done Mandeville before. Well, if, if there's no school there, I could go all through the stadium. Hey, Joe, have you seen that movie Megan Levy? No. That's pretty good. It's about a, a, a Mar she was a Marine. It's based on a true story. She joined the Marines back in the early 2000s. She went to Iraq and she 
befriended a she became one of the canine handlers for the marines yeah and she like got the most aggressive dog they had and ended up becoming like buddy buddies with the dog and becoming a handler um wow and she fought for like three or four years to get this dog back and she finally got with a senator and when he did his retirement she uh was able to get him and she had him till 2012 yeah yeah, I know who you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah so they they have a movie on Netflix about it. It was pretty good. I watched it earlier. Yeah, I, I remember about it. I might have to go look. I don't have Netflix, but uh, my ex has got Netflix on my TV because the kids watch <laughs> it. You know, so. But it's uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I might like it. If you like military movies, you'll like it. I might have to watch it. I watch that movie and it's impossible in a little bit. Oh, you were talking about that earlier. Which one did that come from? Do I? What were the other movies in that series? What series? Impossible. Oh, no, no, no. That movie's about the 2004 tsunami. About a family that went through it. I think they survived. All right. I don't know. I have to watch the movie. I'm not sure. I'm assuming by the title, the family survived because it's called The Impossible. So I'm assuming that's what it was. But the the preview for it looked pretty crazy. I know it. that tsunami hit the Seychelles just before we got there. You guys got some of that? Well, so well, you shouldn't have because... No, we didn't. Uh, I was, was going to say, I, I don't think the, it was... No, it was the Seychelles. It's just the other... <clears throat> the Seychelles is in the Indian Ocean just before the coast of Africa. Uh, okay. And the, the tsunami was about five foot tall when it got that far. But it, it still flooded the main town. Well, we can't call it a city. The main town of the Seychelles. You were there when it happened or you had just left? No, we got there just after it. Oh, well. Uh... He caused it. <laughs> oh. Dropped his wallet on the coast. Hmm. No, uh, that'd be Matt because he never opens the damn thing to pay for anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> Up in it, that's why. <laughs> Cheap bastard. Never, I don't carry a wallet. And if I did, there wouldn't be any money in it. All right, a purse or a handbag, you know. Sorry. No, no, like, I carry a phone. So it's not a wallet, it's all a coach my, purse. All my money is on my phone. Handbag. Do you guys do digital IDs too? No. No. Uh, Arizona's, uh, uh, Samsung did an update about six months ago where they added digital IDs to the wallet. Oh, you the, can the have only... digital ID, yeah, because the proof of age card's digital. But the yeah, only that's state... in the wallet. The only we, don't state need... that... we don't actually okay. need to carry ID around with us. The only state that, uh, allows it though is arizona at the moment at least that's what the samsung app said i tried to put mine on there and it said no it said arizona is the only state that's capable of doing it right now so that's yeah, we... you'll be able to put it on you just won't be able to use it in any i just can't see why you shouldn't be able to use it all it is is your your wallet just has your id card on there i mean technically yeah. you don't really really have to have an ID on you or a license. A lot of times the cops will pull you over. They'll just ask you for your name. And if they run your name and you come back clean, they're really not going to harass you about not having it. Because you could just say, I left the house and forgot my wallet. I mean, it's not, not, it's not that big of a deal. Well, but, in the old days, all we had to do if you were stopped by the police was go to your local police station and show them your documents within 24 hours. Uh, uh, here they can run your license and see that it's valid 
Yeah, they can do uh, that. They now. they can ticket we'll you for not having your license. Then. But most yeah. cops aren't going to take the time to ticket you over something so stupid. Especially if you're just, you know, if you're being cool with them and you legit forgot your wallet or you just say, yeah, I don't have my ID. I left my wallet at the house. As long as once, once they run your name, see that your license is valid and everything, most of them aren't going to hassle you about that. But it's always good to have on you because you might get somewhere where they require you have your license. There are some places you go that, you know, like here, they still card you even though you look over 21 because they have to card you if you look under 45 here. Fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Dominic or you or Joe or Paul walked in one of the fucking gas stations down here and they wouldn't guard you. It's ridiculous. They do that here. Yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah, the, you only can look time at, they, the only time I'm not carded is if I have a press pass on. Yeah, they always... Uh, dude, I, every time I go to the... If I was to go to the dollar store and get a cigar or if I was to buy alcohol, they always ID me every time. The only places that don't really give a shit are little mom and pop gas stations. They'll just look at you and be like, yeah, you're 18. Don't you think <laughs> Grey Beard kind of or gives 21. it like... Yeah, they'll look at you and be like, yeah, you're 21. Like <laughs> it's Because now the, I keep thinking, I keep forgetting, but yeah, the smoking age is now 21 along with uh, alcohol now. They're both 21 that must, now. That must be terrible for the Brits that go abroad if if they go to the States when they're only 18 and they can legally smoke in the UK but they can't buy cigarettes in America. Nope. <laughs> Used to be 18 for cigarettes, 21 for alcohol. Now it's 21 all across the board. But you can sign wow. up for the military and go to Afghanistan or Iraq at 18. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. You can have a fucking... 18 for alcohol and 16 for cigarettes. Don't matter if an 18 year old wants to get their hands on them, they'll get their hands so on them. You could it's smoke and have hard. sex at, you could smoke and have sex at 16, but you couldn't drive to 17. Mm. Uh it all depends on the motherboard, cool cat, whether it's compatible with both. It's most of them are. Uh it's a newer one. I don't know. It just depends. You have to look up that particular motherboard. He's only just built the damn computer. Why is he looking at a new motherboard already? No, no, no. He asked if DDR4 works in the DDR5 supported slots. All right. Yes, so it depends on whether the motherboard allows it or not. So yes, it's all like all RAM is backwards compatible, not forwards compatible. I don't know why he's asking that unless it's for somebody else. But if you've got DDI DDR five and you put DDR four in, it will turn your DDR four into DDR. Uh, sorry, DDR five into DDR four. It, so it's backwards, back com back it's backwards compatible, and it pulls it back. But you can't yeah. make them much. Yeah, yeah, you can, but it it does pull your DDR five back. Mm. Uh, but you will have config errors quite often, especially mm. with different brands. Hey, Paul, you went flying today? Yeah. Yes, I did. I got. Uh... Two ships today. No, he never oh, takes I? it down, Daryl. Stays up all year round. <laughs> Daryl said when he came to your house and knocked on the door, he saw a Christmas tree in the window. <laughs> I'm, I'm the North there. End Christmas house. I have my, my tree up over there. He takes one bauble off and he goes, right, put that back on. That's done for next year. All <laughs> oh, I say is, Alexa, turn on, on Christmas tree. Home. Box kind of okay. Like I said earlier, and I got a pretty Christmas tree showing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Sarah and. Bit of an mm. Sarah's having a chat. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. my son, son talking to the dog. Oh. Mm -hmm. He's sitting here playing with Bo.
Did you remember to check with him about that soap? Did what? The soap at school. <laughs> yeah, as far as I know, nothing's changed there. They, they gave him a bunch of... They, he's got some uh, prescriptions they gave him. Mm. Might be like a, an antihistamine cream or something. Is he hanging? Is he hanging on better to his cell phone? <laughs> what are you trying to set up in the bio school, cat? You shouldn't have to adjust anything in there. Sounds to me like he likes to tinker. Do mm -hmm. down. Oh. Uh. What? That's why everything has a reset button. All. He said, "Who don't?" I said, "Paul. Paul doesn't like to tinker." Mm -hmm. I don't like to change anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm on my fourth video for the day. Editing. Last night I did 16 shorts. So I've got them out there, so I don't have to worry about it until after the 25th. Mm -hmm. Cool, Cat. Are you trying to up the speed of your RAM or something? Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, yeah. Sometimes when you first put your RAM in, your motherboard sets it to um, 2800. But if you've got right. free 200, then you go into your BIOS and just change but it. But my, my sticks of RAM are actually rated higher than what my motherboard can do. But it automatically adjusted it to what my top, what I, what my peak that I'm allowed at. Yeah. Well, mine, so. I've got free 200, but it was set to. Um, Two eight hundred, and I had to go into BIOS and change it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, good. No, oh, you just pop it in. You shouldn't even be messing with it. You can overclock it as well. It's not yeah, recommended. I, I wouldn't be telling him to do that though. No, not at his stage in, stage in computing, no. You, you don't have to set up anything. Just put it in there. A lot of the new motherboards are really good at picking up the proper speeds the first time. I didn't have any issues with mine. And he's got a pretty new motherboard. That's the one that Sean picked out for him. Yeah, no, but it's just something that comes as standard. So. Now the, oh, for fuck's sake. Why are you even asking him? <laughs> Why, what's he put? He said, I'm not messing with it. I don't even have DDR5. <laughs> Ask him, why is he even asking him? Well, was the, why not? Have a bit of fun. He was just feeling left out, so he thought he had to ask an interesting question. Okay, I, maybe I'm just, something's going over my head, but he, oh, he's asking it again. Yeah. Is DDR5 <laughs> a pain in the ass? I'll Google it. I guess, no, I don't know. DDR5 is pretty much good. No, I think, he, I think DDR5, he's, I think he's, I don't fucking know. I don't Just know. Just make sure your motherboard can take it and you get two of the same stick, two two of the same brand, same size. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, read his original question. Yes, it works in the supported slots. Mm -hmm. As long as it's supported and they're all the same stick. Is DDR. Five eighteen in the ass. No, oh, he's, he's um, his original he's, question. Um, fidelity to set up 
properly in the BIOS. Now, before that, he said, does DDR4 work in DDR5 supported slots? I don't know. DDR4 will work in DDR5. Do you order that? It's, oh, also, mm. as well, you got to make sure it's the same pin configuration. No, I don't have DDR5. I have DDR4 run. Cool, Cap. Make sure it's the same pin configuration. So if your motherboard is 32 pin, then you need to make sure you get 32 pin DDR5. <laughs> Joe, did you order that hat? <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> just stick with what you've got and go and uh, <laughs> take a round stick out, go to the shop and just get a new one. Yeah. That's what I do. When when I need to upgrade my RAM stick, I'll just take one out, take it to the shop and go, can you match this? And then normally they come out with a big stack of sticks and I go, do any of them look like that? Can no. You... Well, take it back. Bring me the one I want. What's up, Steve? Mm -hmm. Steve, what's up? Good evening, Steve. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not answering any more questions, school cat, because you're confusing and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve Carpenter, how you doing, buddy? And the answer, Michael, is Sarah Vega. Oh. Oh. We're playing nine years live doing a gaming stream. And my. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm jumping off, guys. I'll catch you later. Geronimo! Yeah. Catch you later. Well, I got to jump off anyway to go on to double draw them all. Okay, so we might as well close it down, right, David? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> well, enjoy. Yeah, it, you're the one that tells it. Yeah, David. David called. <laughs> David's the one that has has to call it. Yep. I just want to say I got a fucking pay rise. Oh, great! Awesome. Oh, there's a point. Okay, everybody. Mine, David says go to was town. Supposed to so we'll, win tonight yeah, as well. Yeah. we'll see all of you again tomorrow. Thank you, David, for calling it. Bye for now. I call it everything. Yeah. Yep.